Three two three. Copy. Seen a criminal threat suspect. Four four three one Donald Cardo Drive. Code two two three eight seven eight. RD three ninety one. What's up, everyone? Someone Rosita. Sign language relay interpreter. Subject is a male. Not acknowledging. Saturday, October fourteenth, twenty twenty three. It is 9.54 p.m. Broadcasting live from Los Angeles. And as usual, we'll be chasing some scanner calls. 550, Great Mitsubishi. What's up, everyone? Great Mitsubishi. What's up, uh, Jorge Greatly, or is it Jorge G Realty Company? Susan, Susan H, Rachel, Car Free KC, what's up? We are ready to go. We suspect they're now 24th and Ali 10, 24th and Ali 10 in front of is a door house, two males versus one fighting location. One suspect is armed with a gun. Stand by for additional code three incident, 393 already 314. We got one guy armed with the gun. Versus one fighting location. Where is this? We suspect they're now 24th and Ali 10, 24th and Ali 10 in front of in a is a door house, two males versus one fighting in location. One suspect is armed with a gun. Stand by for additional code three incident, 393, already 314. Mm, it's a little bit too we far. Did, you bring snacks and a drink? I did bring tea. Yeah, hit the thumbs oh, up yeah, if you can. Four. Los Angeles and six. Subject out of the road. Hold G Realty? Where do you work out of? How's the real estate market doing right now? You got him, Coach David Gonzalez, Oolong Gone, Bradley, Craig Lister, Craigster, Vicky G, Driven Fortitude, Ray K, Vicky G. Nice to see some new names in here. Stock Jockey, Driven Fortitude, Ray Ray, everybody, dude. Martha Mora. Hey, Mia Mora. Hey, thank you for that super chat. Thank you very much. Right off the bat. Martha. Martita. Senorita. Martha Mora. I adore you. Lady, are you available to respond with 985? Thanks for the super chat. I can't ignore you. No snacks yet. I keep forgetting to order those uh, bars from Amazon. Hey, Shelly, thank you very much for that. Snack fund, cash app. Nice to see that the cash app is working. Testing control. Let me get the alerts so I don't miss any. Graham 15, can you generate another incident unrelated to our current? All right, we're going to start in uh, Beverly Hills. Beverly. Well, we're going to drive through Beverly Hills, go through. On the freeway, I was driving down the freeway and I seen a truck it was flying two giant Israeli flags on it. So I followed it over thinking uh, this is a Jewish neighborhood. I thought there might have been a rally out here or something or a gathering. But no, he just went in. They I know it's buffering here. For some reason, just right here, this little area, you figure it's Beverly Hills, that there would be good cell phone service here. Here, 
This is the ghetto of Beverly Hills. No hills around here, dude. It's the flatlands. No guarantee my lowest ever amount possible. Be careful. Hey, three, did you see the downgrade? It's dangerous out here. If you go like where it goes into LA to Beverly Hills, if you drive down the street, it's like towards Pico is like the the borderline. You can see where Beverly Hills starts. There's this one street, and half the street that's in Beverly Hills is paved per perfectly smooth. And then the other side is in LA. And then that thing's full of potholes. They just don't maintain it. Dude. They're having an indoor prayer meeting. Mm. Interesting. Well, we'll see if you guys know anything happening tomorrow. Earlier, I went to a pro Palestine gathering in West LA. Uh, they gathered in front of the federal building during the day. There was some type of um, clash where someone got pepper sprayed, where pepper spray was used. I'm not sure if it was the cops or if it was uh, just like citizens against each other. I don't know what happened. But that happened and then the cops came and shut it down. They came in with right gear and all that, set up their lines. And then people were just driving around West LA and they moved a little bit west to where the consulate is on Granville and Wilshire. And people were just kind of scattered around uh, protesting. And I tried to get some interviews. Nobody wanted to talk. I did get the number of some lady there, young ladies. We'll see. I'm going to contact her now. At least for her to inform me and tell me when there's going to be the events. What's up, D Street Media? Union George, 921. They're still continuing southbound the one that approaching uh, Manchester. Oh, sounds like a chase. Sounds like a chase to me. <laughs> um. What here? Where do you where do you Boy, sell your where are you a realtor? Sorry, I didn't read your comment. Or I missed it. How much do realtors charge these days? Is Sounds like there's a chase. Unless they're just following them. Oh yeah, there's a chase. One vehicle southbound one ten. Approaching century. CHP's gonna take it over, I think. Well, there's a vehicle exit on Century. It's unavailable in Southeast Unit. It's gonna be traveling uh, eastbound Century. It's not that it's that on Broadway. Oh, they got out. Joe, 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 pick up all of our contingents to play 4636. Alright, we're gonna detour to the freeway over here. Century eastbound on Broadway. Stop at the tri light, requesting a Southeast Unit to respond from a queue. So, Another Kia, George, dude. 91. The Kia boys strike again. Man, dude, Kia boys take no nights off. Harvey, five eight twenty four, five eight twenty four, DW suspect just left eight three five west 
Pacific Coast Highway, 835 West Pacific Coast Highway from PCH Cabrillo, fine liquor. Suspect is transient male Hispanic, dirty clothing with a shopping cart. Oh, did we get a member? Hey, Martha Moore. Thank you. Oh, no. Is there a super Thank you very much. That's that same super chat. Thanks again. It looks different on the other. It's just another color on the uh, my other phone. Realtor fee is four to six percent. It's negotiable. All right, let's negotiate. Down to two percent. I always wonder how realtors do most realtors only sell like five six houses a year like the LA does the average Because then, how much is a four percent? Say the average house in LA is almost like a million dollars, right? Say it's a million dollars. How much is four percent of a million? Forty thousand dollars. You can make a lot of money then. You want Roger? What's up, Anna Corral? Was last seen. What's the last seen southbound town from Century. Well, if you want to get your name out here, there is sponsorships available. AXN News is looking for an official sponsor. Coach Incident 3978 RD 1841. Rampa units, AWS suspect there now, 4467 Monica Boulevard at the 7 Eleven. Suspect is a transient male, black, white shirt, black shirt, on the shovel, both persons with the shovel. It's walking between Santa Monica and Hoover Virgil, back towards the 7 Eleven. Code 3 Incident 398 30 402. 400,000? No, that's 40%. Of a million? Yeah, it's 4 it's Forty thousand bucks. That means that the realtor gets if he sells your house for a million dollars, he gets forty thousand. What am I doing here, dude? I need to go start. I need to go start selling houses. I can sell like three a year. Looking good. Alright, let's hope that this chase is still going over here. I see some lights in the air. South, but I don't know if those are airplanes headed to LAX or those helicopters. Pretty far back there. Unit coming on Wilshire Frequency for investigating adult 5916 West Pico Boulevard at the Country Villa Pavilion. They stopped updating us here. Uh, Unit 8373 Red Honda. Yeah, I'm going to park right here in the gas station and uh, just kind of post up and see if. They give us an update of where that chase is. 
Okay. I see a helicopter going towards like mid city. Is that it? It's moving pretty fast. Because this way we can go over the hill, over uh, Fairfax Stalker. 48 years of age. Just in case he goes west on Century, where we can get on the 10 east if he's still going east. Her mental condition is good, but she needs uh, seizure medication. Passing headed uh, westbound from uh, 5916 Pico Boulevard, uh, Cayman. Everybody, thanks for tuning in. If you can, please leave a thumbs up. I'm going to mission to you for a couple of minutes. Just there now. Blood's still in front Did they say it terminated? Please sit down. Let's figure this to terminate with the suspect stop. So, did you respond to 24th and Arlington? PR callback stated you briefly spoke to one of the suspects involved in the fight and then kept driving. Additional incident 393. Four. It seems like they've stopped updating us here on the scanner. Wearing a white shirt, blue jeans. Suspects also male Hispanic, black shirt, blue jeans. Attempting to gain entry through the front door. Go to the liquor store. Jersey. Southeast units up. Southeast units continue at no trouble. 315 West Mission for Fifth Street. 315 West 105. Panic alarm received from a 2019 Black Mini Cooper license. 8 Henry Henry Union 693. 8 Henry Henry Union 693. Cooper Incident 3998 and 3832. Boulevard. Subject is a female Hispanic. Mm -hmm. Black hair, brown eyes. 5'4", 140 thin bill. Wearing a brown shirt sweater. Light brown pants. Mental condition is good. Did they catch the pursuit but suspect in and Downey? Did you watch last night? Uh, I'm not sure if they caught the second guy. They caught the driver. He, he was hurt. If you watch the stream from last night, when I got there, just like two, three minutes in, Scott points him out. He's in the back of the car, and he was hobbling like on one foot. Scott said that was the driver. And they were looking for another heavy set guy that went into the neighborhood, and they were going house to house. But I'm not sure if they got him. They probably did. They're probably about the canines later on. Olympic and Central. 33, 30. 15 close to Because everyone was coming out of the houses saying, like, oh, I heard him. He was jumping yard to yard, so they can't just leave him there. They can't give up until they catch him. Additional units to stand by. 5-7 wants to meet. But it's probably going to take hours. Okay, we're going to have a great time. Okay, 41, 13, 9, 3, 0. 4, 4, 4, 16, 3, 3. We're an Olympic. Oh, 2, call 18. Correction, 4, 15, 1, 1, 1, 9, 5, 0, 6, 0, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1
Dude, it was like five fifty nine right there. Three six four. That's gonna be uh, thirty nine cents in uh, Normandy. And here it's Roger, six twenty nine. Ring Sometimes the gas prices, it don't make, make sense, dude. Incident 4021. I guess they just charge whatever they can, but... Usually when it's a, a gas station that's not close to other gas stations, they're really expensive. That one was cheap for some reason. Spring Street, the Bellowfield Queen 226 relieves you. Uh, do not allow southbound traffic on Spring Street. Send traffic up northbound. And once 225, uh, correction, 226 sets up, uh, go back. Close. You pay 289 in Northeast Georgia due to our government suspending the gas tax. Thanks, Governor. Well, congratulations. Weren't they talking about doing that here in California too? They gave out that like three hundred dollar gas rebate. What else did they give them? They're saying there there was a surplus. Remember when they were talking about recalling the governor? All of a sudden it was like. Surprise, we have a surplus in money. Like, no, you don't. The fucking roads are garbage. You got a surplus, then fix the roads. Keep the 300 bucks and fix the damn roads. Like you're, you're causing people more wear and tear to their vehicles. You're wasting more gas. You gotta replace the shocks and tires more often. That reminds me, I gotta still do my shocks. Yeah, I'm still Stopped updating us on this chase. Let's see if for some reason. Uh, make sure you give me a. Make sure you guys hit the thumbs up. If we can get to a thousand thumbs up, we'll go live tomorrow. We'll go live tomorrow night. And we'll do some hamburger giveaways down at Skid Row. Cheeseburgers. But let's get to a thousand thumbs up, please. I got some stuff to give away, too. Once we get over there. We got some Air Pegasus. These are actually comfortable. Super comfy. Hey, maybe I should keep these. These are comfortable, but they're white, so they get so dirty right away. I don't like wearing dirt, dirty white shoes. So we're going to give those away. We got a Dodger. Oh, this is my sweater. This has been my sweater for a couple of years. It's time to go, though. Dodgers. I got too many, too many clothes. It's almost cold. And then I just have a bunch of t-shirts and stuff. Pretty much t-shirts. Uh, someone's going to be styling. It's going to be hot this week, dude. Reversible Jordan jersey? Someone's going to be the flyest guy in Skid Row, dude. Ready to ball. Hey, they should put a... They don't have a basketball court in Skid Row. Supervisor they should have like some sports. Oh, 
this we got. I think the rest are t-shirts. These are sick. These are sick basketball shorts too. LeBron. LeBron Cavs color Nike basketball shorts. Dude, maybe I should keep these. No, just kidding. It's time for those things to go. Roger. I have too many clothes. If you guys have like sweaters, it's gonna get cold. If anyone's in LA. You guys got a bunch of sweaters or blankets or probably better sweaters? Let me know if you're in the L.A. City area and then we can go pick them up and give them out. Sweaters, jackets, because it's going to start getting cold. I don't know how to let you use my sound. What's a sound membership? Sixteen eighty one. I have a male pencil at the same address for three ninety minutes. Possible related. Put in your sack. D and three seven nine one. So, so it's like a salted PR boyfriend. Early today, PVD two I don't really like donate. The only place I like to donate is the Salvation yeah. Army. I think the good goodwill is just for profit. Let's get on the road, sorry. Salvation Army actually has a rehab center. For sure they're a rehab place, right? They have rehab centers. And uh I think they also, they're also like a halfway house to get people employed when they get out of jail. So if I donate, I'll donate to the Salvation Army. But stuff like this, I'd rather give it to someone directly. If you donate there, it takes forever. You gotta sell it. No, this stuff's not. Uh, maybe a few things there might be resellable. I'd rather just give it, dude. I. Places you have to buy the home state, you have to go through so much paperwork. Uh, traffic stop, uh, close to you. Please take charge, Jack. It's the Goodwill. I remember seeing a whole thing where the Goodwill was like, oh, the Goodwill is mostly just for profit. I think they give some money away. But I go to the Salvation Army a lot, so I know, like, they have the rehab place. I'm not sure if it's a halfway house, but for sure it's a rehab center. I think it is, because there's like a program. It's all young guys, you know? There's mostly dudes like, well, they're mostly men. Dude. Maybe they only take men. Actually, I never noticed. I don't think I've ever seen a girl there. But it's next door to the thrift store. And uh, you see them come out. And you can tell that it does help them. You know? and a lot of some of those people go and they end up working at the store. They get jobs. And just because people have been in jail doesn't mean make them bad people. You know, it's 
especially because they do it when they're young. And most of those dudes, dude, they're fucking like super re respectful because they've been in jail and they're trying to do better. Right? Even though a lot of those dudes, you see them and they're all tatted up. You think that uh, most people would probably be scared of them, but them dudes are they're super respectful. Right? Walking in on a traffic holder in a scooter, cultural snap 40. 1585, Roger. Walking in at 6th Street, Edward. Yeah, the Goodwill, bro, I used to go to the Will, Goodwill, and they would have some shoes in there that were like awful, bro. I can't believe they would even put them on the shelf. I'm like, those need to go straight to the trash. It was uh, it occurred about 45 minutes ago. And, uh, it was last Because they, they don't clean this stuff, dude. I remember seeing some... A lot of times, it was the Goodwill, dude. They have, like, stuff that's awful there. It's kind of, kind of pricey. You're coming on total frequency for a report to mail, right? Plus Summit Hills and Fairgrove. Incident 3978. Station A1, Roger, 3978. Are you consent, consent, 41? Toy 51, Roger, how do we battle the suspect to step in line 41? Three, let's go 2 and 7, 43, 37, and are you 12 39? Roger, show me your Roger. Well, the best thing you could do is just donate stuff to people direct, bro, in your neighborhood. Make food for the people you see in your neighborhood. Donate the clothing to people, in, you know, in your area. Direct and it's way more efficient than going through these charities. He doesn't show them stuff to stop. He may go to the Lincoln, Sammy, George, Adam, Team 379. For L34, L44, L34, L34, L40, Lincoln, Family Dispute 2856. But for the most part, dude, when it comes to the homeless, I just like to give like stuff that they're, I know they're going to use, like the sweater, shoes. Obviously, they need socks. I used to buy socks from the 99 cent store, but they don't carry them no more. Like, they had a good deal for socks. They're like five pairs for like three bucks or something. New socks. Remember, Four zero eight two R E ninety one. Moho Diana. Oh, hey, thank you very much for becoming a member. The cool thing about the thrift stores is that it saves stuff too from going in the landfill. We throw away and we we discard so much stuff here, bro. Just Amazon alone. I forgot what the percentages of the stuff they just throw away. I think they were just destroying like all of their clothes because the clothing is like one of those things where it's not worth it for them to resell it because it's so cheap to begin with and the returns or the damaged stuff. It costs them more to process all it than it's worth to resell. So I forgot, I don't, I can't remember if they were just like throwing it away or if they were burning, burning it. But I think they changed their policy. But they get so many returns, it's a huge yeah, percentage of people on Amazon door, that just, to meet her at her front door. they buy, they try it, and then they're like, nah. I think they might have changed their policy too, because so many people were doing that, dude. Hi, Nate, Raj. 
Hey, thanks again for becoming a member. Is that what they were doing? That they were destroying it? Did they end up shipping it back to... Maybe they started shipping it back to China. Between ISIS and Osage. Vehicle lane. Black or dark wing is on the south side during the lights. And with the windows open. Left in the middle of the roadway causing a traffic hazard. It's code 2 incident 4093 or 1479. I know they did something to not have so much waste. Black male Asian North Shirt. Jeans under the influence of an unknown substance. Being aggressive towards the security and employees. Code 2 incident 4096 3630. It is crazy if you think about it that they make all the clothes, the clothes get sold. Right? First, someone needs to like make the clothes. Well, the whole process the manufacturing process, the creative process, the shipping process, the getting it to the stores process, the selling it through the store process. Right? Everything. They go through all that, then the person returns it, and then it just gets destroyed. Which is crazy, bro. Because it costs more in labor to resell it. I think a lot of stuff Amazon just lets people keep it now. I sell stuff on eBay a lot, and if it's not. If it's not worth more than like 50 bucks, if there's a problem, I just, I'll refund them and I just let people keep it. Unless it's something that's not my fault, then I always do the right thing for the sellers though. If it's something they can catch or something, I'll just, I'll give them a partial refund. 515 code 6, freeze at PCH. Hi, Southeast Center, trust us, that's like they're now 8 East 105th Street. So, there's a vehicle parked in front of Black Sedan. It's a place of male, it's not mid 20, it's called Black Clothing. Modern Cons, traditional coaches in a 4102, RD 1834. And number? 2846, go ahead. Young. Seven two seven two three five. Two eight forty six young three seven two seven two three five. Right, we're gonna go over here by the Sixth Street Bridge. Six one young three seven two seven two three five. Isaiah Solis Dino Alvarez Robles. License status valid. Look for 2736 South Palm Grove Avenue, female mental illness home. We are on the line. Are you able to re-respond if you're not quick? Uh, we're not going to a call right now, but I did see a, a fire off the freeway right now. Smell it. Let's go check out this smoke. We're gonna go do our own little smoke investigation here. It's probably just an encamp encampment fire here by the freeway. You never know. Defense on the rear are throwing items from inside of the location outside of the fence. This could be incident 4114 RD 1008. Oh. And Boulder. Street, I've been in trouble. Now, people are in the storage. Public storage buildings, just like a mill. Unknown when a black person can't get pants, dressing a female, wearing a white shirt and blue jeans. Want to come in, let's go to Other side of the freeway, though. This is not a good place for fires. There are there all these pallet yards here. Union Lincoln Paul, four five three. Horrible. 
You guys want to see the? You guys want to see the coolest Kobe Bryant uh, mural in the world? Say I if you want to see the coolest Kobe mural in the world. Oh look, these dudes, they tapped into the fire hydrant. Maybe they could use that water to put out the fire over there. Yeah, there's the fire. Or was it a smoke signal? Just burning stuff, or is that for actual warmth? And Figueroa on Luther King and Junior Boulevard, and Figueroa behind the McDonald's in the alleyway between the McDonald's drive-through and the on-ramp. Suspect male wearing a black hooded sweatshirt, pointing a handgun at passing vehicles. This code three hundred forty-one twenty-eight. All right, right here there. across these tracks, right here across the street. Tail thirty-four. 24 TL 34, have you read? Is the greatest Kobe Bryant mural in the world. In the world. It's behind this weed shop here. This thing is crazy. 24 MX 18. Roger, follow up. That scene. Look how big it is. There's a warehouse. Like it's like 30 feet tall. By hundreds plus feet long. I don't know the length, but it's about 30 feet tall. Yeah, there's a crazy mural. I think it's a. I seen when uh, they were painting it. it was a, I think it's a girl. Yeah, it is a girl. If you want to check out her Instagram, it's called the Lady Isms underscore. Where last time I thought it was a B, I thought it was like Labby something. Labby Iism. But it's at Lady Isms. I think it's a D. I don't know. Maybe it's Labby Isms. L A D I E I Z M S underscore on Instagram. The snake is actually kind of scary, dude. I never realized it's coming for his back. It's coming for his neck. This is like a weed, uh, I don't know, it's a weed shop, warehouse. I don't know if they just sell products or if they sell actual flour. I don't know if, if you guys know of a better Kobe Bryant mural anywhere, let me know. But I think this is probably the best one I've ever seen.
Like the only problem is that this is in the cut over here. You know, it's an industrial area. If this was like by the Staples Center, or imagine if this was like in Venice Beach or somewhere where it's, you know, more populated where people go, it would be a fucking like world famous landmark. Those in Hollywood. Well, since it's and it's back here in the cut in the industrial area next to a train track, and areas where uh, most people don't want to go. This is off of it's off of Olympic Boulevard. Once you pass the uh, Alameda, go under the, under the freeway, when you get out on the other, at the end of the freeway, it's right there. To the right, there's a train track. The business is called Traditional. Traditional, I don't know, weed or something. They're the ones that... Standing on the railing over the 101 freeway. Subject is a male white, old ball, first cap in shorts. Code 3 and 1587 RD 1588. Railing over the 101 freeway. Subject is a male white, old ball, first cap in shorts. Code 3 and 1587 RD 1588. Something else. He's wearing all black, question back of hair unit, and a supervisor. I mean, people that people that are into Kobe, that are into art, they know about it. It's known. But mainstream people... Well, this is at a... Dex 21 is requesting a unit to Central 17th Street. The suspect is running in that direction. Supervising right identify. Okay. Okay. Here, here comes okay, that. Roger. Sirens, dude. This Area is a, this is pretty close. Central and 17. Oh, He's got to do a U turn here. We're chasing the suspect. Next one is requesting a unit to 18th and Central to secure shop. Oh, we need to go back. Come on. Let's go light. The suspect is contained between two RVs and your location. Oh, there we go. Contained. Elmer Avenue, 4141 Elmer Avenue. I don't know what he's wanted for. He just heard a loud crash downstairs and is in the attic. Post three incident, 4169-8085. I don't know what he's wanted for, but he's definitely wanted. Four minutes. I thought they were going to say it was right here, this street. The street is called Lemon Street, if you want to know where the mural is. It's Lemon Street. Oh, we got a super chat, huh? LA Captain, thank you very much for that super chat. We're in route right now. If you guys want to listen to the scanners uh, from LA, this is what we use. Go to LA Captain's channel. You can save the money on buying a scanner. central mid block. And I seen you starting. You started a different channel for the um, large, large. What do you, what are you calling them? Major, major events. Or do you need to recreate it? Ninety second and Graham at the route. Dude, the four, four is the magic number right now. Four hundred and forty-four viewers. Four dollars. Four, four, four. A lot of four is the number of the day, dude. All right. Let's see. This guy's. Roger. Hiding between two RVs over here. 
truck to secure a shop. There's going to be a red uh, pickup truck. If you guys can secure and hold that vehicle, so it's going to be in place. Door 24, both vehicles are secured. Alright, this is the call we're going to right there. The red Just hold on, both vehicles are secured. Six draws in the game on freeze and PCH. Plans to four freeze and PCH. I'm calling in United Postal Town Suicide 1206 Hoffman Street, Cotoons at 4141 Hardy 1583. We got the heli, 12 o'clock. 266. Uh, RV here. On location next door. Run. Look at these guys running on a little mini, mini bike oh, yeah. with no lights, wearing black. Denny and Ravina. Work code six. Seven eight four seven seven eight four seven. Cancel your response to it's at four one six two seven eight seventeen. It's code six. Ringer, one, four, eight, five, nine, round Valley Drive, and sent four one. Or, or hope he's, or not, hope he's not armed with the forty four Magnum. Silverado pickup. Hey, Roger. Unit code four seventeenth and Central. Suspect in custody. Oh, they got him. Avenue Phoenix, Arizona. This is 17th Street, but it's a one way. Space and one inside the residence. It's going to be incident 4194 and RD 393. Jake, they can I get an RA for a male approximately 39 years of age, functions of breathing, and maceration to the face? I want to show us code 6 on the third street platform on the blue line. I'm going to be 8100 third street platform. Can you please inch up just a little yeah, tiny bit, four. please? There's someone. 25T31, 25T31, are you clear? We're still gonna go check it out. 
Look at this at 140040 for the South Little Mike. 1985, Roger. What do you guys think of this car in front of the Nissan Cube? Do we have to do our car conveyance? Oh no, don't you're gonna block the street? Maybe, Roger. Come on, man. What luck. Right where we're gonna make a right turn. Right where we're gonna make the right on the one way street, the cops block it. 1585, stand by. Time out of 22186. Uh, uh, I've seen it, sir. Possible, possible battery suspect, 7702 Clump Avenue is code 21 to 4160 on RD 1695. Immediately suspect 7601 Hollywood Way is the code 21 to 4160 RD 1699. Anyway. I still want to go check it out. It's a one way street, they blocked it off. Roger, the area. Repeat the cross to spring. There's an expander that just came out. Imperial Highway, Normandy. Uh, doesn't look big. I only go to the ones where there's a lot of trucks. 207, under the influence of unknown substance, throwing objects inside the apartment. The PR is an apartment 8. Last yeah, that cube when it first came out, Nissan struck out on a lot of these cars. I think they have problems with their transmissions, right? Some of the Nissans do look good. I like the way the Maximas, Altimas, all those cars. They're pretty nice looking cars. The interiors are cool. I think overall it looks, they look better than Toyotas. But I think they've their transmissions aren't as reliable. Anxiety is not in the middle of the road. We're on uh, Spring and Sotelo. What? Spring and what? Hold for information. Anxiety attack in the middle of the road? Anxiety is not in the middle of the road. We're on uh, Spring and Sotelo. CP Roger, we stop you. Thank you. Four two zero four or 1822. Any North Hollywood United possible attempt suicide 12060 Hoffman Street, Cotoon, Sint 4141, RD 1583. Oh, no, that sounds like tweaking. Other word um, for anxiety. Joyce responding 1349 Cherokee Avenue from Hollywood Station. Spring and Sotelo, where is this? It's 1752 East 109, Incident 4117. It's in Dogtown. I didn't know this place was officially called Dogtown. Roger. That's over there by Chinatown. I never knew that it was. I thought that was just the nickname. It's officially uh, called Dogtown. Suspects are assaulted in one victim at the location. There's no suspect description. It's information only from incident 42. There's some there. projects there. They're like some of the oldest projects in LA. I thought it was just the nickname. I think the gang is called Dogtown too. That's there. It's like one of the older gangs. Look, this dude the other day was building that house. He had like a, what do they call those? Saw horses? They got a fire pit. Look, yeah, he built a little shed right here. Damn, it came out good. That white one next to it? Dude, that's like better than the Home Depot sheds, the tough sheds. Oh no, it's, it's only like halfway open. But you can tell that dude knows how to work because he had his he had his saw horses out, you know? Most of the people out here they put together stuff with like just pallets and whatever they could find. One not ever being older. But as you can see, dude, his, Washington, the this has all the right angles. Victor, Ida, Ida, Victor, Robert, Edward, last seen East on Washington from Pacific Coast, I feel like 20 years. Shout out to Carpenters, man. They don't get as much respect as they should, dude. Except for that Jesus guy. But Carpentry is... Oh, it's such a dope craft. It's such a dope, you know, to be able to do that. A lot of people take them for granted. 
polo, black pants. Number two, a male black black shirt, black pants, both wearing masks. That's what you seen running eastbound her away. It's harsh. It's hard. It's hard on people's bodies, bro. It's, it's hard labor. But if you're good at har carpentry, like you'll never starve. You're all you'll always have work. You know? If you get a union, union job, they make good money. North of uh, Othello on Springs. Eighty three, three zero. Favorite location for the PR. Of uh, uh, sure. Sarah, if you want to know what corner you're on. Should we try to go over there? We are just north of uh, Othello. Hey, hey, how's the picture quality I looking? Is it decent? Eighty three, three zero. Favorite location for the PR. Or do I need to wipe the lens again? Matthew Street, 314 North Matthew Street. Suspect clear last year on foot. Headed towards Michigan. Suspect are four male, known summer one, gray hooded sweater, black pants, six feet or four, no further description. See, I heard eight gunshots. It's code three incident, 4218. Correction, incident, 4219, and the RD 466. Also, I remember some dude saying, like, if you notice, like, carpenters. Dudes that work on houses, like they're not, they're almost never North depressed. Two, three, one, four, North Matthew. They're tired as shit. It's three, hard ass two. job, you know, in your body, and you get tired. Just left a one nine eight two one at Walmart. Like you, right on Black Mark, if you Black eat Walmart. right, them two dudes are in great shape, you know. Some of these dudes eat really bad, really bad though. They drink all this soda and beer and burritos every day. So they get big old bellies, dude. But the dudes that actually eat right, that just work in construction, carpentry, dude. Them dudes are usually ripped. I used to know some dude. He was like a, he was like fifty something years old. He was a carpenter. He would play basketball. That dude was like ripped, bro. And he was like, nah, I just, I just have a physical job. He doesn't work out. We well, play basketball. But he looked like he was like lifting weights, you know. What I mean? Like he was someone that would lift weights and do the, do his abs every day. And he was like, I just, he was like, I don't eat fast food. I haven't eaten fast food like in 20 years. Don't drink sugary drinks, and I just work. I think soda is the biggest problem. I think that's the biggest problem for, for us, for the U.S. And now it's spreading. Have you seen it down like in in Mexico? I think it's near Oaxaca. Is it Oaxaca? I don't know where it is. It might actually be in Oaxaca. There's like people over there that are drinking soda. They've kind of like bought into the belief that soda is good for you. And they drink a shitload of Coke. Roger. But they're all like, all of them are super obese now. Please advise when RA has arrived. Like the obesity rates have skyrocketed, and it's just soda. They, start, they brought Coke there. And they drink a lot of it. And also, if you see when people, Americans started getting obese, it's right when they started putting all this soda out everywhere. Soda machines. Everywhere you go, dude. The convenience is like, hey, you want this meal? Okay, get a soda. Hey, for 25 cents more, you can get 40 ounces of sugary drink. Dude, it, they know they know the weaknesses, dude. It's hard to resist it. Tiffany area three one four North Matthew. And then what happened? Like when I used to drink a lot of soda, what happens is your your taste buds just become so accustomed to having that sugary drink. I remember when I used to drink all this soda. When I would drink water, it would feel weird, bro. Like, like uh, damn, this water is not. Not that it wasn't good, but. Stars in the last hour. 
Like it wasn't refreshing. I think I was just addicted and I felt like, oh dude, I need that soda. I need more soda. Because all that carbonation. They have three liters in Mexico? Coke? I know Shasta used to have three liters here. Our comments was sent in at 4234 or 1327. I think they still do, but I've never seen a three liter Coke. Leave the harbor station. 5815, Roger. Okay, for the one with Pearson, about two locations to meet. Five minute ETA, white Mitsubishi. 5859 and 10 Avenue at the Stars, code 2442 RD 848. Yeah, the Shasta, that's how they were competing against Big Soda. They'd be like, not only is our soda cheaper, but you get an extra liter. I've heard that giant three liter soda. Charles Harvard North and 204 Like 99 cents. 2 3 9 0 2 RC Cola used to be good. But that thing would make my heart race. 39 I think, didn't RC have like double the caffeine? Valley traffic units, ambulance traffic, Glen Oaks and Van Nuys. Glen Oaks and Van Nuys in front of the Taco Bell. Following up to Tahoe and it's Tahoe, it's 3 Canary at 51st and Avalon. Thank you, Ms. Angela. 3003 Leeward, 3003 Leeward Avenue. Female heard arguing with unknown person stating was bleeding. If you can't United drink just water, you should. You gotta get used to it, man. 2038, Olympic Channel, line of the phone. It makes a huge yeah, difference. 6030, can we have an additional unit respond to our location? And then can we have the FD meet on Cherokee and the Long Creek okay. to uh, treat a victim of an assault? She's uh, conscious and breathing. Age? Can I get an RA for my location for a female approximately 50 years of age, conscious and breathing, suffering from agitated delirium? Agitated delirium. And temporarily log us off. I'm going to be switching officers. And advising you want them to step out. Seven Street, Platoon, and 4155, RD 265. 1053, the parents are in suite. It's holding one code to call in RD 939 and two non coded in RDs 914 and 991. I drink a bottle of water like first thing when I wake up after I've seen some interview of some ex CIA dude. Saying like that's what they recommend in the CIA, and I feel like it has it does make a difference. It's like your body's dehydrated from sleeping eight hours. You need that water, and I just I don't like chug it all at once, but I'll drink it. It'll take me you know, like within the first five or ten minutes of waking up, I drink that whole water bottle of water. And then that'll get you hydrated and ready. Once you stretch out, you're ready to go. Like, I think it makes a big difference. It'll make you less likely to buy soda early on, too, or a sweet drink. I feel like it's definitely made a made a difference. I'm like I'm ready to go when I wake up, even though I wake up at bad hours. 
but before I would feel bad, you know, like it'd take me a long time to start feeling like ready to go. And now I just drink that bottle of water and I usually uh, go for a walk. Like I don't exercise, but I'll go outside, get some light in your eyes and then just go for a little walk, like 10 minutes. And by the time I get back, I'm ready, dude. I'm ready to eat. Do what I gotta do. Like I don't. It doesn't take me forever to like wake up and get energized. The only problem is I gotta pee all the time. Right? Suspect there now, 360 North Merchant West Avenue, 26. So we suggest 64 ounces of water a day. To the rear of the mini mart for the minute. Yeah. You could drink too much water too though. Don't drink too much water. Let's go find the Colt Six Charles, four five five three August Street, information or But you do. You have to make sure you drink enough water so you can be hydrated. So if you drink all that early on, like you're not going to be dehydrated. So like later in the day. And I think sometimes, like when I wouldn't do that, like what would happen is I'd wake up, I'd take a little sip of water, and then not eat breakfast, leave the house, and then I'd feel horrible. To like eat breakfast also and I would, I would eat some, I would eat breakfast with some sugary drink and I still feel horrible. Right now, we're talking. Here I have the first channel PR, the neighbor advising that the PR you're with is vandalizes vehicle. All snags and all clothing, but one suspect armed with a gun. Suspect vehicle is a gray infinity on the east side of Staunton. Suspects are breaking into vehicles and brandish the handgun towards PR. It's code 3 incident 4267 RD 1317. Shots right heard only 1619 North Hall Park Boulevard. It's here heard two gunshots and a vehicle leaving at a high rate of speed east down from the location. It's code 2 incident 4270 now RD 639. There's vehicles jumping the curbs. So just be careful. What? Riley, female, Ms. Ellen, 2851 Veteran Avenue, 2851 Veteran Avenue, Unit 302. Vehicles jumping the curbs. Honor and comments, 4273, 3835. Are these girls dressed up for Halloween or is that's just how they dress every day? 22 landline, me, up. I saw I'm the number one, you're ready. Latex. Go ahead. Latex is back in style. Some say it's never. It's never left. Code of 
We'll see if this turns out anything. Can you cancel 13 we could probably get to Hollywood in like 10 minutes. Hey, do me a favor and hit the thumbs up, please. Roger. 31FB301, 31FB301, your status. See that fucking red arrow. Six eight forty nine. Everything advised they were overhead when the first shooting call was broadcasted. There was no evidence. Uh, Human traffic calling in one hundred one. Calling in the one hundred one. Put three seven four two seven eight. Right fifteen ninety nine. Yeah. Calling in one hundred one. Should we go chase that? 31 FB 420, 31 FB 420. As an excuse to get into Hollywood? Machine and possible shooting just occurred. Hubbard and Eldridge, Hubbard and Eldridge. Here at approximately 45 pound shots, motorcycle are speeding away. Code 3 and Snap 4286, already 1908. Yeah. Yeah. And the student couple known as a possible tent who is inside of an all-resident. So to appear requested. Man, this road needs to be repaved. And have him remove the vehicle from back in the PS driveway. The PS driveway is in the car. No, that's a trouble. Go on. 314 North Matthews. Uh, no social description. No vehicle description. Unknown weapon use. And no victim's info. Oh yeah, tomorrow is the psych. Oh, psych like love you. Outside of the division, come in. I think they're gonna they close down the Six Street the Bridge, no? All units six eight six six trying code three from Hollywood Station to six two fifteen Wilcox. Okay, one's responding code three from one double forty Foothill to the Hubbard and Gold Ridge. Hey, are they coming on mission frequency for the shooting just occurred at Hubbard and Aldridge? And a resident, I mean, almost heard the valley. Stop saying that his name is the Starlight Express, expressing that he needs officer assistance at a location as an apartment 246. <laughs> what? No further. Did you say his name is Starlight Express, express expressing that he. Listen to this. And a resident, I mean, almost heard crying on stop saying that his name is the Starlight Express. Expressing that he needs officer assistance at a location as an apartment 246. <laughs> no further. Dude, I think she put that joke in there. Point four eight Adam Frank Henry 885. He's saying his name is Starlight Express and he's Contact expressing. Yeah, the theory Roger. Source in this, welcome to the front. Camouflage Jack and he was just at the entry gate asking for help. Roger, handle the missing child, 14649, Santa Cruz, code 2, incident 4252, RD904. At least he picked a cool name. I think. Can you stop it? Can you get all your phone mail? That's a good one. Screen is real. For the suffering from my phone. Devin and Gaffey on a white Chrysler 300, no place. Damn, they said, bro, that's like the first Chrysler 300, no place. Remember how popular those are? 1933. Chrysler 300s? Yeah, those are all like bad cars though, dude. All that Dodge Mopar stuff. They're cool when they're new, but when do you see old old Dodges or anything, dude? 
old Mopar rolling around. Uh, for the amount they sell when they're new, you never see them old. Like this right here, this charger. Even these are, this is like the older one. Oh no, this is the second generation charger. But like the first generation charger, it's not that old, but you never see them, bro. You'll see like 50 Toyotas from that thing year one, one, one charger. Roger, you Well, if you got money, it doesn't matter. Some people buy cars and they just... It's like a five, five year, six year thing to them, so it doesn't matter. But for a lot of people, when they buy a brand new car, like they're looking to keep that thing for like 15, 20 years. Male, Hispanic, black over black, 60, 150. Approximately 36 years of age, wearing a black hat, black long sleeve, and black pants. All units, Officer Needs Health, 1349 Cherokee. Officer Needs Health, 1349 Cherokee, 450 man. Shit. Oh, we should have. 1349 Cherokee. We should have went to Hollywood. Oh, what's your one, Who's yelling? Victor Olivia Avenue in the driveway. I know what's going to happen, dude. If, when we get to Hollywood, we're going to hear some calls down here. So, officer needs help call. 1349 Cherokee. All right, we're going to go towards Hollywood. I kind of wanted to stick around in downtown. It seems like... Like Hollywood is active right now. 1341, code 6539, East Park, set the Yoshinoya. Oh, damn, dude, that's far. 14429, Police Fishery, additional exit 4274. 29 minutes? Do you get to Hollywood right now? 1390, Choco Forest, on in Washington. There's a bunch of traffic on the 101. Yes, hold on, 4220, 21 will handle. There's like windows, a pink panther decal on the right side of the vehicle, and burn 23 on the rear. Position 4320, you want A pink panther decal? I'm a soldier. Ready to call my clothing, code 2, incident 4327, already 2013. Is the platform closer to the Vigness side or the Alameda side? Southwest units then 3831, 3831, your 415 woman at 4100 exposition is now a 415 woman, code 3. And it's clean in the northeast corner of the intersection. Intersection suspects calls all male Hispanic. Now code 3, incident 4066, already 355. Question 353. Central units, screaming men, white knoll and Figaro Threads, white knoll, Figaro Threads, the corner house. Code 3, incident 4329, already Fifty-three. Oh, I'm cleaning it on the one three eight thirty-one. Is the platform closer to the Vigness side or the Alameda side? Southwest units then three eight thirty-one, three eight thirty-one. Your four fifteen woman at four one zero zero exposition is now a four fifteen woman code three. And it's cleaning in the northeast corner of the intersection. Intersection suspects possible male Hispanic. Now code 3, incident 4066, already 355. Question 353. Central unit, screaming men, white null and Figaro threads, white null and Figaro threads, the corner house. Close the incident 4329, already 111. Let's see, where is this? White null and Figaro terrace. And the apartment is currently on fire. Oh, what? Oh, that's Hollywood. Suspect is a criminal threat suspect currently barricaded inside the apartment. An apartment is on fire at 1349 Cherokee. Oh, shit. Okay, we go. They're going to be on the long bridge just uh, west of Cherokee, south 
side of the street. Damn it, dude, but there's, a, up, there's uh, a traffic Bobby jam on the 101, bro. Look, it's even backed up here to get on the freeway. Fourteen forty five forty nine North of Cherokee. Twenty two minutes. There's an alternate free brown. Uh, it says the freeway is the fastest. Oh, that was a lie. Fuck. Right. Uh, information broadcast for Denver Tree Unit that there is a fencer fire on Prairie east of Krebs in the area We're of stuck Lola, in traffic now. Extremely dense smoke on the roadway. Fucking I just want to get a match up there, it's only seven miles. Well, I got on here because it said it was six minutes faster than taking the street with the traffic. Let me see, dude. So we need that funds. We need those funds for a helicopter, man. That's why we need those memberships, dude. We need to get that helicopter soon. I guess information until 11 occurred approximately 30 minutes ago from 19821 Rinaldi at the Walmart. Suspect was left in unknown direction on a red and black Aprilid 750 motorcycle. License 21 Sam 3403. 21 Sam 3403. Suspect is a male white brown over brown 57160. Approximately 28 years, black and white. Motorcycle jacket, black pants, black shoes, weapon uses, bodily force, property taken, Walmart merchandise. Information is now 4222. Hi, traffic. You know what's going to happen, dude? There's going to, as soon as we get like on the 101 towards Hollywood, there's going to be a big ass call here downtown. But we got to go to this one, dude. Who set his own apartment on fire? David 20, Richard 10 Roger. Hopefully, uh, it's not fully ablaze. Hopefully, he's just burning some newspaper in there or something. 17 X 7, come in. And hopefully, it's not a big apartment building. Parking structure advised. The suspect pulled into a parking spot and is still sitting in a vehicle. That's not very neighborly. And both parties are stationary at the moment. No Ned Flanders wouldn't set his own apartment on fire during a police standoff. Does the have an issue with a double parked vehicle? Do we need to set all the double parked vehicles on that street? Stand by. Taken. Valentine 13. 6213, Roger. You're going to respond to June and Delancre. Identify. There's a call at um, Cherokee. You met with I think it's almost at West Hollywood. I said a guy, he set his apartment on fire.
conditions if you pick up only trailer to up here. See if that's a shooting. That's 11 miles from here, 18 minutes. That's because we're stuck here on this dumb 101. If it turns out to be a shooting, I, I could probably just get off and go back the other way. Story. If you want to put a unit on uh, Los Palmas and Fountain, and then maybe a uh, big block unit on Los Palmas between the Long Prey and Fountain. Then you'll have containment if he gets on the roads. Okay, roughly that. Los Palmas and Fountain. Palmas and Fountain, and a mid blocking of Los Palmas between the Lothre and Fountain for containment. Air 3 is requesting units Los Palmas and Fountain and mid block Los Palmas between the Long Prey and Fountain. Units to respond identify. Responding. It's still coach you incident 4323 in the RD 459. Play where you're at. Roger. Six in the area, White Knoll, Figaro Terrace. What's going on here, dude? It's still 4100 4, position. I don't see no. Accident. West side of the apart apartment. Don't tell me the. Don't tell me that the pro protesters took over the freeway again. It's all the way up here on the Long Prey. The corner of um, uh, Dean Hellbond is up here on the Long Prey. All the way north, this window right here, just north of the balcony, right before the tree, that's lit up with my night sun. That's the one where he was throwing stuff out. He just threw something else out. Hello, so you might be better Bobby, off on the Long Prey. Bobby T, thanks for joining from Sioux City. Right now. Show us on the south side of the complex. Same 15, Roger. 15, I got you. You're, you're, yeah, I got you, 15. You're in a good spot there. We'll stay good Alright, if we can just get out of this. How are we looking on jam? Jam? Let's see how far the traffic is here. 911 Western Avenue. So it's real black. Camouflage mask with a baseball cap, black shirt, black pants, gloves, and headphones. Possibly armed with a toy plastic gun. Monitor comments. Because you're the 437. I think I'm going to have to get off and just take the street, bro. And 418 takes. What can I take? Uh, 49, are you there? I got shot in 002. You're right there where I need you to be. Second story on the corner, the west side of this building, northwest corner. He keeps throwing all stuff out that window. Eventually, he's probably going to jump out that window onto the rooftop of this garage, just west of where that burgundy car is parked in front of. He's 
probably eventually get a jump on that roof there, so I need eyeballs there. Alright, we'll stay on here. Under Ritter. It's moving now. Alright, see? I wonder if the apartment's still on fire. It must be, because he said they think he's going to jump out. There's really no perfect street to parallel the freeway on here. Pastor Robles and Rayan, possibly related to your current party call on time for someone to put in your stock.
Two, two, two. Alright, Fountain and Las Palmas. Okay, good DMV. For leaving comments on the videos. I've seen that you leave a lot of comments on the videos. Thanks to everybody that does that once the VOD goes up. That, that really helps. It shows uh, YouTube that there's interaction. Dude, I've done this for years, and uh, it was just so hard for the uh, channel to grow because YouTube, first of all, YouTube was never recommending live streams. And I forgot who I talked to that knew someone that uh, worked for YouTube, and they said that the live stream stuff, it's like on the back, 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 back burner of YouTube's priorities. They just allow it because uh, they don't want, like, they want to have have it available. So, like, you know, to have, just in case Twitch or one of these live streaming places got really big, they want to be able to provide it and compete, compete with them. But I think recently they actually, what I've noticed, you can see what happened to Jeremy's channel. He got the good algorithm and a, a good viral video and his shit blew up. Course from Colorado? Yeah, right. The mountain. 
from the mountains of Colorado, pure Coors Light. Yeah, their logo is the mountains, right? I actually like that logo. The Coors logo is cool. All right, we're pretty close. Helicopters in the air. Helicopters in the air, flying around like you just don't cur. Next street. A vehicle is going to be a 2023 metallic blue temporary plate Charles Sam 14 John 00. Charles Sam 14 John 00. Right, of course, we got the street closed off. God damn it. Even to pedestrians? Close at a ringer 1653 68th Street of the Residence and then 4425. Right, side streets are going to CTD and they're going to handle the report for you. Let's go around. Roger, I don't, I don't smell any fire. I don't see heavy smoke. This is a call of uh, someone trapped in their in their residence, setting it on fire. They're like in some type of standoff. For what reason? I don't know. But they did say that they were trying to set it on fire. Burn down the residence and get rid of the evidence. Is, this might be the best spot we can get to here. This is a driveway to a house. I don't see anything on fire. This might be as close as we can get here. Seven three three seven three three. Cancel your response. Instead of four two six four in Hollywood seven eight six nine will handle. Let me go check something real quick. Let's see if I can see on the, from the side if we can go around to the other. Because it's closer to the next block. Thank you. 
meter to disrupt the street takeover. South traffic in route. AK-49 will be in route. AK-49 route. AK-49 route. Spot. Let's take a couple looks here and then we'll go around. Someone said we create good content. Thank you very much. Oh, well, the content creates itself, dude. This is just reality. Translation, come out with your hands up, we want to help you. And a fire department on standby. They were saying they were trying to set the apartment on fire. So we know you're in the apartment, come out with your hands up, don't make things worse. And then Hollywood apartment, barricade, arson reports. Firefighters are investigating reports that the man is lighting trash on fire, but not the building itself.
sounds like they know his name. Alright, there was reports that they were, he was setting the apartment building on fire. But I think he was just setting trash on fire. Which in theory could set the apartments on fire. I think, unfortunately, this is the best spot we're going to get. We can try going around the other way. But it looks like the street is closed off. I believe it is this apartment building right here. What do you guys think? you guys want to hang out? I can go get my tripod. Won't be shaky. What's up, man? It's just a standoff. from the citizen chat.
I'm gonna go get my tripezy. Get my tripod so it won't be so shaky for you guys. I'll listen to the scanner. If we get another call, we'll go. This is in Hollywood, Cherokee Avenue. There's a standoff. A guy barricaded in his apartment. And uh, he was attempting to light some trash on fire. Or he did light some trash on fire, which led them to believe he was trying to light the apartment on fire. So we have fire department standby. A little, a little stable for you guys. I usually keep the camera off the tripod when I first jump out because I don't like to jump out fully on the tripod and I'll go back and get it at the scene. This is what the tripod's meant for, for scenes like this. Hey, shout out to uh, Crispy Bacon. Crispy Bacon, dude, I thank you for doing the needful. Hey, thank you for doing the needful. Thanks for that super chat. Uh, I'm looking into getting another camera with better stabilization. Some, um, he let some newspapers on fire. Oh. Inside of the apartment. Yeah, they said it was a arson. Suspected. Do you remember the hip hop group, The Arsonists? Uh, I remember the name. They had a song called As the World Burns. Look at the pile in this. Uh, Oh, we can hear him. Jeremy just showed up. Yeah, I know. This is AXN News.
sorry guys, we're gonna go live on Citizen to get, get the news out to the local neighborhood. Crispy bacon, thanks for that super chat. to do citizen and landscape now. They switched it. Yeah, thanks again, Crispy Bacon. I thought you passed away. too much weight on this thing. Dude. about to get low I know that it's about to get low so you don't need to put in the comments that it's hard to hear I know that it's a little bit lower but I'm gonna zoom in a little bit
uh, say, Kimothy, thank you for the uh, super chat. Kimothy, I will check my PayPal. Thank you very much. Is anybody watching on Citizen? What's up, Citizen? It's uh, AXN News from YouTube. We're here live on scene at this uh, standoff where some guy's barricaded in his apartment. I believe it's his apartment. And he was, uh, the call came out that he, he might have been trying to light the apartment on fire. And maybe he was, maybe he wasn't, but he did light some trash on fire. But there's no smoke, no large flames or anything. And they are scared that he might try to burn the apartment down. I see you at the next one. What's the channel for Citizen? No, Lucy, uh, Citizen is an app. You should download it if you don't have it. It's called the Citizen app. And that's where like anybody can go live. You sign up for it. It's free. Don't sign up for the premium one. Or sign up for the premium one if you want. I shouldn't say don't sign up. And uh, it's just an app that reports you to everything that's happening in your area. And surrounding areas. So police calls, fires, basically the same thing we do but through an app and anyone can go live on it if you have the app installed in your phone right now I'm live on Citizen you could if you're here you could go live that's pretty much it it's a really cool app, app actually it keeps you informed the only problem is sometimes people go live and they're like the worst camera people in the world they go live and they point the camera at their shoes and stuff Hey, shout out to anyone that came over from Jeremy's channel. Thanks for coming over. Citizen right here. Um, they got the streets closed off there at Las Palmas. Uh, the next street where the incident is is on Cherokee. And then they have the next street shut off. It's also closed off south this way. So if you live in this area, you're not going to be able to get to, get to your house. This is as close as you can get right here. What's up, O'Shea? Yeah, anyone watching on Citizen, dude, do me a favor, go to my YouTube channel and sign up. It's called AXN News LA. 
at AXN News LA on YouTube and Instagram if you guys want to stay up on local news. you Ashley thank you very much yeah I don't think we're gonna or stick around for a little bit actually I'm gonna turn on the scanner and see if we get another call so far the only thing we heard is that he tried to set some uh, newspapers on fire in the apartment Sucks for the neighbors. Hey Kim, uh, I can't I can't log into my PayPal. Check it after once I'm done with the citizen stream. Uh, thank you very much for that donation, though. Team KK. building there it is is that a rooftop pool up there or just an observation deck 
How much did you think it cost to live in that building? Top floor. Dude, are those 30 foot ceilings right there? No. Oh, that's the bat house, dude. All right, let's, we're gonna say, I think, dude, they are like 30 feet. That's sick. You probably have to be a rapper to live there. Hey, thanks, Ashley. So the apartment is the one over here to the right. That like yellow one in the corner. I believe it's that one. Or the next complex. That penthouse, four thousand a month. Now the penthouse, the thirty-foot ceiling one is way more than that, dude. That's probably like seven thousand. I think a regular two-bedroom, two-bath is probably four thousand bucks. Tricky Ricky. Oh, why did I get that other rapper? <laughs> hey, thank you for the five bucks. Yeah, man, you gotta be a rapper to afford those kind of prices. Either that or a TikTok mogul. Oh, damn, thank you for that PayPal, Darcy and Kim K. I was able to check that, dude. Thanks for that donation, both of y'all. And Richard, too, man. Thank you guys for your continued support. Always very generous. Thank you. Kim K and Darcy. If we keep these donations up, I might be able to rent that penthouse for a day.
last time I checked, all these brand new modern buildings that pop up in Hollywood, anywhere in LA really, but Hollywood, uh, dude, the one bedrooms, like, they start like at 2,500 bucks a month. The two bedrooms gotta be between four and five thousand dollars. So that penthouse up there, I wouldn't doubt that it's not seven or eight thousand, seven plus. It might go all the way up to ten thousand, depending how big it is. I think apartments like that are sometimes like corporate, they're corporate owned apartments. Or they just uh, rent them out to schmooze people. And try to get big contracts. Just like a lot of uh, like the sports Staples Center, all those corporate suites. Those are there just to like schmooze people, clients. Yeah, the view would be nice from up there. An unobstructed 360 view. That's pretty much what LA is turning into, dude. All the new construction are giant buildings like that. You know that uh, crossroads of the world down the street. They're gonna tear that down and build a giant little, a giant little. That doesn't make sense, but a giant mini city there. A giant apartment complex. That's a mini city. Cause there's a lot of acres there. They've been trying to fight it, but I think everything got approved already. It's just a matter of time before it starts. You just have to tear all that stuff down. Right, last time I looked it up, I think uh, Alfred uh, Hitchcock had an office there. There's like little businesses and offices. There's a lot of uh, history there. And the building is kind of, it kind of looks like a boat. It has like the portholes on the side. And it was designed by the same architect that designed the Coca-Cola ship building downtown. I think that one's on Central. You guys know it, the Coke building. It's hard to notice when you first drive by and you have to see it from like a distance from across the street. And then you'll see if you look up, it's, it resembles a ship. as close as we can get all the streets are taped off this is the as close and the best angle we're gonna get and I think we're, we're gonna take off pretty soon See, there are three fire trucks outside of the apartment Yeah, well, the guy was trying to light some newspaper on fire in the apartment. I don't know what initially led up to the call. 
I think he was making threats. Does he have a gun? Uh, they don't know if he's armed. They know who it is. They were calling him by his first name. So that makes me believe that it's his own apartment or someone who he knows. You know, someone here in the crowd said he was making threats. That's not confirmed though. I think that's what led up to this. Want me to translate that for you? He said, said, saca la bolsita. Saca la bolsita. Las manos arriba. Inicio, te queremos ayudar. Se nos salen apartamentos con las manos arriba. He said, come out with your hands up. Your hands in the air. your hands up we don't want to uh, I wasn't listening we don't want a problem yeah he's still in there
come out. We want to help you. Whatever his name is. We'll leave it private. I think he told him he's not in any problem. Come out so we can help you. you come out of the apartment with your hands in the air. I mean as long as if he didn't hurt anybody, he didn't put his hands on anybody, he didn't have any weapons or anything. They probably will they probably won't arrest him, they'll just hold him. get an evaluation. But if he uh, actually pulls a weapon on somebody, then we're going to have to arrest him. Last night there was an officer involved shooting in downtown 6th Street. A guy was walking with this big old saw blade, a sawzall blade, basically a, a knife huge sawzall blade it looked like it was either one super long one or two put together and uh, the cop shot him and I'm not sure if he died but he was shot there in downtown for walking around with that sawzall blade and I guess they told him to put it down there was a short per a foot pursuit and then it led to a shooting Uh, this morning I seen the article on the local news and it said that they're just invest they're still investigating what happened. If you go to last night's stream go like halfway in and you see all the cops shutting down the street and you can see the big old blade now we'll zoom out a little bit so we have better focus
I'll leave it up to you guys. You guys want to hang out for a little bit more? Or uh, you guys want to get on the move? And see if we find a better call. take off right now. If you're just getting here, there's a this is a call of a man barricaded in an apartment here in Hollywood on Cherokee Avenue near Cherokee and DeLongpre. They said that he tried to light uh, some newspapers on fire. after the standoff was already underway. Not exactly sure what started it.
come out of the apartment with your hands up so we could help you. Hey, thanks to everybody that subbed. We're over 23,517 23, subs on YouTube. Thank you very much. It seems like a year ago I had like 3,000. to go check I was like what like the cop said it's a fluid scene they must think uh, they obviously think he's dangerous for a reason They can't take the liability of going in there. I was surprised he was checking. I was like, there's no way, dude. They're not going to send a cop in there. Or let, especially let them go in there to get a dog. No chance.
my screen's gonna go blank for a second. Citizen broadcast has ended due to bad network connection. All right, we're gonna get out of here. Oh, there's a guy barricaded in his apartment. Some guy has an apartment barricaded. He's trying to light some stuff on fire. Hopefully we didn't miss any big calls. If you guys want to listen to the LA uh, scanner feeds, go to LA Captain. LA Captain on YouTube. He's got a great channel with all the scanner feeds on there. Go over there, tell him I sent you. LA Captain. He's got all the metro area. He's got the fire department on there. And now he's doing uh, major incidents. All in the same channel, but like on three different, uh, three different feeds on that channel. One at the same time. your original suspect was attempting to hit the PR but was TC'd by a vehicle that left the location. Hey Darcy, thank you for the great content you provide. Hey, thank you Darcy. So in case you didn't hear, but thank you for that PayPal. Darcy and definitely Kim K. Great coverage. And Tricky Ricky. Thank you, everyone, for those generous donations. Hello, 
Honestly, I don't, ex I don't expect anyone, everyone to donate, but I do expect everyone to leave a thumbs up. 31FB, 31FB, 61, 31FB, 61, come in. Alright. 17, Kawasaki, VX, 10R, license 2 Robert, crusher 2-4 Robert, 0 The neighbors are getting frustrated. 2-4 Robert, 0 Attention, Understandably, but. The party 250 North Carrollwood Drive. They can't let them go in there. Bro, you, you'd be so surprised how people act like at murder scenes, bro. There'll be someone dead on the floor, dead body covered by the sheet. The PR states of victim. It's, is it's usually these y younger people, you know? And they'll be coming out and they're like. What? Who cares? I need to get to my car. Like, this is BS. Like, bro, someone just lost their life. You see that a major a homicide was committed there? They have to. They can't just let people walk through. What else? Seventy code six. Shout out to Big Rock. I don't want to sound like the old guy, but these young kids, man. No respect. But so many don't, bro. They and they like laugh and they think it's funny. Four 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 eight RD three fourteen. Second DUI traffic two six three seven Portland Street incident one four three RD three. Let's make sure we didn't miss anything here. Vehicle fires. No fires. No rollovers. Black incident 126. Are you in 54530 over there? Suspect in custody. Just repeat. I'll let So this place to the left here, that's the. Um, Crossroads of the world. <clears throat> I'll show you right now. This is a historic place here in Hollywood. I think it goes back to like the 1940s. Zero party unit, Bedford Woman, 916 South Lake Street on the second floor of Steel, female black, no clothing, the two incident 203 RD. The crossroads of the world in its heyday was a very popular place. They're gonna tear they're gonna tear all this down. I wonder if I wonder if they'll keep that center thing there. They should keep it and build around it. What could they put in there? Like a little coffee shop? Put the stuff in the back. It, this is all going to get torn down. Got how many building here? But it's a lot. It's going to change the neighborhood. Get more traffic than there already is.
this one gets shorty. Uh, you want me to want me to read the history to it? In a battery domestic violence. You want me to look up the Wikipedia page? Yeah, I'll look it up. Battery domestic violence. That's two four five zero five south Avalon. Purchase incident one five three RD five one eight. I'll do it, dude. Separate location for the relative. I'll do it for you. I'm not gonna read the whole thing. Crossroads of the world. Oh. Wiki. Let's see what famous people were. Alfred Hitchcock had an office there. I remember that one. 1931. Uh, someone hired a streamlined modern architect who was finishing his work on the Coca Cola building downtown. Originally had 57 shops and cafes, 36 offices, and it was inaugurated on October 29th, 1936. Damn, 1936. In the 50s, it was converted to an office complex. Hold on. Until we got a call in Hollywood. Ambulance heading. One seven zero zero North Gower is Presbury zero two zero six in the Sorry, I'll read it to you later. One seven zero zero North Gower. A cutting. Gray in color. No maker model. Probably taken was a white purse, a black shoulder bag. Sounds like a stabbing. White in color and a iPhone mm -hmm. SR, black and colored. Okay, One mile away, five minute ETA. Heading 77 <coughs> 77 Cannon, 42 Madison, I have Normandy and 54th, Normandy and 54th, Shell Gas Station, Suspect from Al Hispanic in his 40s, muscle shirt, blue jeans, and tight gear towards Toyota Camry. Threatened in PR with a knife. Put the three incident 216, 30, 12, 15. Heading 77 unit racing vehicle century and western 30 to 50 vehicle setting up for street takeover. Go to the 219 RD 1283. The band gray. Suspect number one is a male Hispanic 58 to 10 wearing a black and gray hooded sweatshirt. Suspect number two is a female Hispanic 56 200 pounds wearing a black shirt. On the property taken with a white purse and iPhone 14 and iPhone X4 and it's no one success. I think that's like on Gower and Hollywood. Suspect fled on foot. Hopefully they didn't get hurt too bad, man. Police six nine camps to call for five one four handle five four. Question five four. Moment in five four. So it's gonna be a strong competition. Addition on the phone, Romany 54 is now lady that used suspect and now the PR call back. Uh, the suspect did threaten him with the knife. The argument was serving the back and why was disconnected. Additional incident two one six. So you figure one verify your close and close and forty foot. Uh, we're on show is called 6 in the area. Oh, if I want to call 6 in the area, Normandy at 5 4. 6 back to 5 1. 2 6 9 Roger. 6 6 6 6 6 6 6 6 6 6 6 6 6 6 6 6 6 6 6 6 6 6 6 6 6 6 6 6 6 6 6 6 6 6 6 6 6 6 6 6 6 6 6 6 6 6 6 6 6 6 6 6 6 6 6 6 6 6 6 6 6 6 6 6 6 6 6 6 6 6 6 6 6 6 6 6 6 6 6 6 6 6 6 6 6 6 6 6 6 6 6 6 6 6 6 6 6 6 6 6 6 6 6 6 6 6 6 6 6 6 6 6 6 6 6 6 6 6 6 6 6 6 6 6 6 6 6 6 6 6 6 6 6 6 6 6 6 6 6 6 6 6 6 6 6 6 6 6 6 6 6 6 6 6 6 6 6 6 6 6 6 6 6 6 6 6 6 6 6 6 6 6 6 6 6 6 6 6 6 6 6 6 6 6 6 6 6 6 6 6 6 6 6 6 6 6 6 6 6 6 6 6 6 6 6 6 6 6 6 6 6 6 6 6 6 6 6 6 6 6 6 6 6 6 6 6 6 6 6 6 6 6 6 6 6 6 6 6 6 6 6 6 6 6 6 6 6 6 6 6 6 6 6 6 6 6 6 6 6 6 6 6 6 6 6 6 6 6 6 6 6 6 6 6 6 6 6 6 6 6 6 6 6 6 6 6 6 6 6 6 6 6 6 6 6 6 6 6 6 6 6 6 6 6 6 6 6 6 6 6 6 6 6 6 6 6 6 6 6 6 6 6 6 6 6 6 6 6 6 6 6 6 6 6 6 6 6 6 6 6 6 6 6 6 6 6 6 6 6 6 6 6 6 6 6 6 6 6 
is here at the Ambulance Battery Gower in Hollywood. Three incident 210 RD 637. Three incident here, ambulance battery Gower in Hollywood is an ambulance ADW cutting. Now code three incident 210 RD 637. Okay. Ambulance. So with the deadly weapon cutting. 1700 North Gower in Hollywood. Do you guys remember the description on this guy? What is sweater? No. Suspect is right down the street. We're really close to Hollywood Tower. That should be too close to get another helicopter in here. I would say, don't get the helicopter on that. They will pull off of this. Air 3 Roger, 7Z1, Air 3 is over a barricaded suspect. We'll monitor. He's right down the street, bro. You could just come right here. Hello? Hey, there's a good call in Gower. Yeah, I'm right here. Are you there? No, no, no. I'm in LA. I just wanted to be sure. Yeah, yeah. Listening. I'm right here. I'll be there like in one minute. Okay, cool. I'll tell my chat. Later. Thanks. Okay. 2869, 2869. No, Hollywood units will be able to handle a 415 group fight. Coinga in Hollywood is cut to and sent 0138 and RD646. Well, huh? Coinga in Hollywood now? Now there's a different gang fight. Different gang fight? Where's Kawanga? Behind? Honey Cup, you're turning across that in Beverly, 2700 North Gower in Hollywood. Did they make a mistake? I got him. 215. Dude. Alright, let's go check this out real quick. Maybe this is connected. Kawanga's a little bit down. The vehicle was not seen. The one that's around the storm is forward. Suspect oh, is going to be a gray Mercedes. No, going to be oh. a white Nissan Altima. Dude is bleeding from his head. LASD is on standby. Suspect 84, male suspects wearing ski masks. Weapon used is going to be a chrome revolver. All right, viewer discretion is Proper advised here. Is going to be. A There's gonna be some bl Mercedes, some blood. Windows and black rings. Okay. Roger, 77 today. So stand by. Right here on the corner. Where the cops? Are they in the other gang fight down the way? On that oh, they're all over at the stand standoff. The standoff. Five thousand off. Nine X eighty four nine eight five. The standoff. Careful here. Cops know where to be found. Uh, can you get an FD rolling? Yeah. This is one of the fire department. I'm going to want the most of you guys. He's going to... Joe, 5 Where are the cops? Hello, ATC gang member. Black ski mask, black hooded sweatshirt, black pants, white Jordan shoes. Looks, Looks like the bleeding guy walked over to the fire department truck. 6-3, code to incident 235, RD-1128. Well, I don't see the cops here, or the gang fights on Coanga, which is a couple blocks that way. A couple Park blocks Rangers. west. At the Greek Theater, incident 100. Big hand of the call. She's no longer needed. Block, can we get a shift? We can get a Block, uh, all directions. Oh, here's the I'm 
Discretion advised. Two gentlemen. Look like they're injured, one in the head, one in the arm.
looks like the wound is to the forehead. Uh, the person that called it in said it was like a pocket knife. The guy took off. There was a call that came out that said a, a gang fight on Coenga in Hollywood, which is a block down, so I don't know if someone just got the street wrong or if there was something different from this. Fuck it, right in pussy. Sucks, bro. That's awful, man. I guess it could it could have been worse, but bad it doesn't have that big of a scar. This young young dude have a big ass scar on his face or it looked like it's his forehead. Alright, we're gonna take off. We're gonna go down to Coenga and see if anything's happening over there. Pretty awful. Good. The blood wasn't like gushing out, so. That's a good sign. When I passed by, it was kind of like dripping down. So hopefully it wasn't too deep. That's fucked up. That's fucked up, bro. I hate to see shit like that, man. Especially on some young kids, dudes. These guys gotta be like 22 years old or something. At most. Let's see if there's any updates here on the... 
So with the weapon reported, I said the guy took off. So let's see if they uh, caught him. Well, all the cops are busy down at the standoff. Right, It took them a minute to get here, bro. I mean, I beat them here. Usually in Hollywood, they get here fast because they have a lot of the uh, units out here. 1290, we have no location 5905 Malabar in Huntington Park. Eighty thirty-five, eighty thirty-five 35 in Hollywood, ambulance overdose. 1737, North Los Palmas, code 2, incident 200, already 636. We got an overdose in Hollywood? 80, 35, 80. Yeah, Hollywood going loco right now. 57, handle the sound out. DUI traffic arms, Adams, close to his 4448, RD 314. All right, we're gonna lis listen to the scanner and see if we get an update of the Five suspect. I'll be monitoring the uh, citizen comments too to see if for some reason someone has the description on them. It's got to be gone by now. Yeah, this is the first electric uh, fire department truck. This is the first. Is this the only one, or have they brought out new ones? This is the first one right here, number 82, engine 82. Went into service, and it something happened where it, it backed up around the sinkhole, and it bottomed out, and like it got damaged, and then they had to ship it to wherever they built it. They're like, I think they built it in the Midwest somewhere, like St. Louis. Something else going on. Hollywood and Highland. Comes another Two zero two five Daly Street. Incident two five one and RD four twenty one. That was them party thirty one zero six Darwin Avenue Incident two three. NRD 423, 507 Party, 4642 Bowman Boulevard. Incident 4319, NRD 427, you just have identified. Bill 1, are you clear? and a fire engine. Last broadcast regarding him being armed with nine. Good keeper nine. We're on the unit in front of the location. He is armed with a knife right now. What? Sure, thank you. Location? Oh, this might be the guy on Cherokee again. We'll go check on that guy again. After this. you went all 80. Cancel incident 288. That was a tactical channel there, so I think that's that's the guy. He said he's armed with the knife. That's the guy that was 
that's barricaded in the apartment that we left before we uh, came here. The vehicle was last seen <coughs> 13 Middleton. Damn, dude, my throat is so dry. All I have is this hot tea, and it's like burning hot. I've been taking little sippy sips. A warm tea is what I need right now. This one's hot, hot. Oh, we got something going on here in front of this. this I think this club is called Ballet. Yeah, what do we got here? This looks like a woman. Shim Boulevard. Nicole is parked down the street from the location. Oh damn, I didn't the even notice. I didn't down notice the that guy on the ground. Suspect people has a silver and I'll make the model and the license suspect is a mouth. This is 25 years short, but cut heavy hair, black shirt, black pants. Suspect was armed with an unknown weapon in his back. This is a real There's popular a club here called Ballet. Looks like they're surrounding a woman. She's getting up. Avenue and Malabar Street. Getting up by herself. Doesn't look uh, doesn't look very hurt. She's talking to the firefighters. Giving them a little wink. Well, thank you, sir. I don't know what happened here. There's some medical emergency, maybe. Actually, I've, been, I've passed by here like probably like three, four times where people are just too high, too drunk. For some reason, this club right here, people get, people get loaded here, dude. She gonna be all right. She gonna be all right. If you notice, when there's overdoses, when there's a couple, it's they come in waves. Because I think. Uh, when the, the product comes in and it's just like way uh, way more potent than it normally is, you'll notice that the uh, the overdoses come in waves. Bro. Like one time, I forgot how many overdoses were in one night, dude. Like eight or nine. The sad part is people that are really addicts, that are hardcore addicts. I've heard, I heard, I don't know if this is just a myth, that when, um, when people die, they go and try to get that stuff. Because they're such addicts and their tolerance is so high, they're like, that's the only thing that's going to get them high. And a lot of time people overdose people that have like gotten clean for a while. Yeah, like that people that have gone sober for a while when they relapse, they overdose. Because they try to go back to similar levels where they um, left off. But their tolerance level is way lower. We're going to be facing northbound Buckingham. Have units respond eastbound or westbound on Jefferson. It's uncooperative. 415. I think we'll look back at this time and it'll be worse. You guys think that this is worse than crack? Who lived through the crack era? Do you think that the drug drug problems we have now are more severe than the crack era? I 
guess it depends where you live. Crack mainly affected the hoods. But this shit right here, the fentanyl and the meth, it's, everybody's on that shit. Dude. All ages, all incomes, all colors, everything, dude. When the teeth bite into you, bro, people are, they go down bad. Worse, worse. Worse. It's worse now, right? On the second floor, in front of apartment 13, you can dial 11 and 11. Correction, pound of the 11 Grand Street. But I think it depends, bro. Because right now it's hitting everybody, so you see it all over the city. But back then, the crack, it devastated. It devastated the black neighborhoods mostly. Black and Latino neighborhoods. He was able to observe two suspects, two males wearing a hooded sweater and jeans entering through the back door. Right here. Let's see if we can get another look here. This time I'm going to keep the scanner on me so we don't miss anything. I believe that they said that this guy had it. Now he has the knife, a knife on him. Back to the standoff here on Cherokee. In Hollywood, this guy's if you, if he's getting here. This guy was been barricaded in here for a couple hours. Uh, he attempted to set a bunch of newspaper on fire in his apartment. And right now, over the scanner, something came out under tactical channel that um, they said uh, he has a knife. Suspect has a knife now, so I'm pretty sure that was attached to this call. Let's take a quick a quick look. See where they're at. I think they're talking about this, so they got ladders. That's the apartment. We might have to go back to the other spot where we were earlier. Oops, sorry about that, people. I don't see no ladders. This might be a better angle if we see what apartment he's in. So 
So this is a standoff here. Uh, the rumor is that he was making some serious threats. And then the cops, uh, somehow he ended up barricaded in an apartment. And the cops, and uh, he attempted or did light some newspapers on fire. That's why we came over here, because I thought it was a, I thought he actually lit the apartment on fire. I'm kind of tired of standing around here, dude. I think we're going to take off to the next one. We've been uh, standing for a minute. I've already been here for like an hour. I think I was here a little bit longer, like an hour and 20 minutes. I was on the other side, though. And we can't really see much from here anyways. If he actually came out and walked here on the street and gave himself up, I think we'd have a better angle from the other spot. Now we're going to take off. I think he's, I, I'm pretty sure he's in his own place, so this is going to go on forever. See you later.
that young dude who's bleeding really is probably going to have a scar on his forehead. They just put the batting ram up inside here, so I don't know if they're waiting for smile or what. They brought it out? Oh, the battering? Because that's how it was yesterday. They had all their control cars at the standoff, and uh -huh. then when SWAT showed up, they just cleared everything out. We're going to have to pull them out. Did they say what he was wanted for originally? No. I heard just make a threat. I didn't reckon, I thought you guys were some other news team. How many times the helicopter? That's the second one too. Has circles. That's perfect. The first one left already. That's the second That's one. That's the too. second one. That's crazy. It's going around in a circle. It's gonna be like opaque by the time it's gone. You know. Yeah, crazy. How long have you been here? Take off. We're just on standby here. <laughs> right. Definitely wasting a lot of resources here. This is just one corner, imagine over there. This operation, how much do you think this operation is going to cost the taxpayer here? Helicopter for hours. I think the helicopter is like a thousand an hour. This at about three, four thousand dollars in the helicopter alone. And all these guys. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Just right here. Hey, conocen el señor que vive ahí? En el apartamento. ¿Viven para allá? Sí. No, van a entrar. Ya tiene horas. Tiene como tres horas. Está en su apartamento. Trató de prender un periódico en su apartamento. Quemarlo. Pero dice que yo lo agarraron. ¿Sí? No, no. Si lo agarraron, ya viera. Estaba bien. Ya se está leyendo todo. Allí vamos a ver qué llama. Todavía está allí. ¿Por qué no gastan el helicóptero? Cuando ya, cuando ya lo tienen, se van los robots. Buena suerte. There goes that couple, that couple that wanted to get their dog out.
from thousands of hotels. Hey, well, all right. See you later. See you next time, McKay. All right, we're moving on to the next call. Just so gonna go on forever. Uh, I feel bad for the people that are locked out of their house. Especially those people look like they just got off of work. Current shot forms are possible shooting. Alright, 17 is possible shooting just occurred. Current shot Florence, current shot Florence, both three and 351, Arch 51. Current shot Florence. Northern Street takeover. Current reporting to smoke and people running in different directions. Please assist shooting. Those are in 736 target shots. What? Yeah. Takeover shooting? Northern Street takeover. Current reporting to smoke and people running in different directions. Please assist shooting. Those are in 736 target shots. Roger. All right, that's out of Hollywood right there. Takeover. If you guys know where this takeover Request is, driver, Romeo Avenue in front of the, the smoke's probably just burning tires. I thought she mumbled something about shooting. Hey, if you guys know, this, they didn't know broadcast the location, but if you guys know where this is, let me know. It was out of Hollywood. So it's got to be somewhere around here. Uh, usually the takeovers, they don't really come to Hollywood. You guys know where it is let me know spam it in the chat anything you really want me to read you got to either spam it just spam in the chat obviously i don't read the comments when i'm driving maybe at a stop sign i will and just like what happened to jeremy yesterday that's why i don't do it bro too many close calls oh, look at that lamborghini Linguini suicide doors like the Lamborghini or is that one? Lamborghini What's up, SOS Moldane? Hollywood, it's not known for it. no takeovers over here. All the takeovers are on that side. South LA, Central LA, even West LA, Valley. But I never hear them out here. 
This is Billionaire no, Road right here. Unit one zero two four. No, Millionaire Road right here. This should be a million dollars worth of cars right here, dude. Count them up. We'll start here. We'll start here, dude. Let's see if we can get to a million dollars worth of cars. Durango, no. We'll only count the ones that are like 80,000 and above. This SUV, we'll count this SUV as uh, 80,000. Oh, dude, there's nothing out here today. Mercedes. Barely gonna get valet. Club's about to close at two. Zero one two six. Oh, dude, we didn't even get to like two hundred fifty thousand in total today. We had an off night. Especially on a Saturday, dude. Usually there's like. Clarin, Lamborghinis, Rolls, everything, dude. Jumbo's clown room. A fan favorite. I think we have to go. What's this takeover information is not getting updated. Three from Sunset and Coronado to 4401 Laclede Avenue. Oh. Guys, gonna be getting jiggy with it in Jumbo's clown room. Direction 640 East Imperial Highway. Here's the issue with your own outsider resident. How does it clown song? Hey, Jumbo, it's Jumbo 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 Are you requesting zero three hundred in your stack? Hey, I want to thank thank everyone for watching, for leaving the thumbs up, and all special thanks to everyone that's a member and a donator. Donator. Anyone watching is a is an MVP. 
but the donators, those are like hall of, those are hall of famers. The ones that, the ones that water the grass. House to keep going. <clears throat> also, if you guys know of any uh, protests tomorrow, let me know. I went to the uh, there was a, some pro uh, Palestine protesters earlier in West LA at the Federal Building in West LA. You guys want to check it out? It's the last stream I did today. There was a large group at the federal building and there was like some chaos and the cops came and broke it up and then they kind of spread out into smaller groups in West LA and they were driving, uh, I seen a bunch of cars driving on the freeway waving flags and they were up and down Wilshire and I actually got out and tried to get some interviews but nobody wanted to interview. I think people just don't want to, they don't trust, you know, they think, they always think you're up, you're up to something. Requesting two additional units to respond code three to two four six two Clarendon in the city of Huntington Park. They're in room two. What else happened? And today, right before I started the stream, I was actually I got on the freeway and I was following this this truck with these two giant Israeli flags on it going down the freeway. So I kind of followed into like Pico Robertson neighborhood because I thought maybe they were going to a to an event there or gathering. But I didn't see nothing. This is the best insulating bottle I've ever had. <laughs> I've had it open with the lid open and it's still burning hot. But usually not this good. We better roll up on Jumbo's clown room. There's a 415 man disturbing the peace over here with no shirt on, acting up. Is a bus at 2 a.m. normal? Uh, yeah. The city, yes, for sure. The buses, most of us, the main lines, they run 24 hours a day. It's been a while since I've been on the bus. But, uh, they run 24 hours a day. Usually the main boulevard ones, and they just they run like once an hour or something. They don't stop. The smaller lines. They do shut down at a certain time, I think. Eleven or something.
five four alpha. We should never call Dude, it looked like that restaurant was playing a movie. You ever been to a bar where they play movies? Is that a thing? I don't see nothing going on but the bomb ass rap song. Unit on the brain. Oh, yeah. Thirty-six. Bumping. Thirteen eighty-five. Zero three. Zero three. I'm gonna go toss this in the trash. New Halloween in the Ringer. Eight one three two McKim Court at the residence. Incident report zero eight. The tank group died at 1487 West 45th Street. Unknown number of suspects involved in a fight at the scene of a party. Code 2, incident 264 D1204. Incident 264 Any mission unit for the battery to mess with bombs, mess with time out on three. There's protesters in Long Beach tomorrow. Three seven four nineteen ninety nine. Three seven four nineteen ninety nine. Who? Three seven four nineteen ninety nine. Three seven four nineteen ninety nine. Three seven four nineteen ninety nine. Where and when? Who, where, and when? Zero zero West Pacific Coast Highway, see the PR female, black inside a burgundy Honda, four year old director, suspect, ex boyfriend, male, black, 66 years. No further, yep. code 2 incident 146 in RD. You guys like this shirt? I just wanted to show off my shirt. Earlier, I went to Chick fil A to get a salad, but the chicken nuggets look so irresistible. I ordered some. And they gave me the, um, not the, not these, but the other ones, the skinless ones. Dude, those things are awful. At first, they were decent. Like, I took the first bite, it's like, oh, okay, this is okay. Like, oh, this is probably better, it's healthier for you. And then once I started chewing after the second one, dude, it was just like, they're slimy, bro. They're disgusting. It's almost like they're in some type of like, I don't know, dude, some type of vinegar stew, dude. It's, it was slimy, it was nasty, bro. That's why I went and traded them back for these, bro. I was like, those are horrible. No sign of a topless Asian man disturbing the peace here. Which up against endless traffic, turn wise, I run, turn wise, I run, code 3, and said 420, or That's cool, dude. I always wanted to live in an apartment like that above a business. Three thirty-one, Sunny Coast, Jason Figueroa, and King, two two one five five and a half West Twenty Eighth Street. It would actually probably suck. Oh, Roger. I don't know. It might be cool. Oh, 
and I have an announcement to make. I'm opening up a dance studio. I never told you guys, dude, but I'm a really good ballet dancer. I've been hiding it for you guys, dude. It's my passion. I just don't like to share it with everyone, but I think we let the cat out the bag. I'm starting a dance studio here. Stop with a knife, tend to break into vehicles and pull the knife from the security guard. Where's this gun pulling on? Yeah, they're comfortable. Start to go right, and that's not so It's not that I'm embarrassed of it or something, I just, you know, some things are just private. Like the, rela the relationship between me and ballet is special. 1XC11, 1XC11, which is simple for Air 16. Traffic, 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 Street, come in. Suspect Norway, Fall Black, Black Hair, and for the description. Number two, male unknown of description. Suspect Norway, 422. What's wrong with the camera? Southwest of Germany. Looks good to me. Looks good to me. I saw by the 996 now called the RP is at the location in the parking lot of Fremont and Abel on the Civic. Advice she received a media notification of a male black inside of the location, possibly a security guard. Here yeah, does not have a better image. Call to six Something rattling? I don't know. I got all kinds of stuff in here that rattles me. Coming out. Code to call an RD. Oh, it might be a, actually, it might be a plastic bottle. Oh, you know, it's full bar, full bar, zero, one, let's leave the evidence. you got to carry so much crap in here, it's a small car. You know, it's a full bar, Nicole takes Charles LeBrand, Coliseum, Ron Sussex. Air Queen, 52, 24, tell. You know what, I need to still hand out these clothes, bro. Let's see if we see somebody. We see a homeless person. Where's this takeover? Crash on Coliseum. Also, the look how messed up the road is here. And I need new shocks in the front. But look at this road. Look right here. Look how awful this is. Uh, it's awful, dude. It's full of awe. The 211 just occurred on April 23rd. Go to us in 404 Vehicles on sector now, 5850. Oh, there's so much traffic. On the street next to the location, suspect vehicles have uncapped black Nissan. Suspect four male unknown breaking into the lock of a pickup port of a white pickup truck. I don't know if anyone is coaching. Did you say uncapped? I've never heard that before. Uh, hey, is that your car? Looks a little unkept. Is 
probably gonna. Little white pickup truck. I don't know how many weapons go to instead of. He's probably gonna file a defamation lawsuit. Party in the area of Shell and Boring Community. Information is there 4480 3715 91. Sound 10 35 RP. 35 call in our 7. Complete. Sound 10 35 Roger. We machine at unknown trouble 13741 Sunbury Street. Face to location. I never heard of dispatch call card untapped. I guess they can't really broadcast piece of shit. 21, can you send me en route to USCMC with RA209? We're going to be three. It's an Ultima piece, I mean, uncapped. Ultima. All units 21 respond code 3 from 312 West 6th Street to USCMC with RA209. Oh, SWAT's so arriving three, with zero, the standoff? One, hey, keep me posted, Michaela. If you're still there, let me know. We'll head back there. Let me know if you, if from where you're at, if you can see the Bearcat go in. We don't really have a good, uh, a good angle there, bro. It's like a block away. I don't even know what apartment he's in. But if the Bearcat makes its move, maybe we'll go get some footage of that. Nice hair. Nice shoes. Nice purse. Damn it, you look oh if you thought that was nice. If you think she looked nice, here we go. If you thought she looked nice. We got some lookers over here. I said lookers. Toyota Camry. Does it get any more boring than that? It does, dude. A tan Corolla. No, it goes even worse. You could have a tan Hyundai. Hollywood units to cancel and off an ambulance. Elantra with tan inter cloth interior. Two hundred. Did you say good luck with the barricade? Did you say good luck with the barricade? Once in a while, I have no access to this apartment complex. I think you're right. I'm 
Southwestern Racing Vehicles, 39th and Credit Child Club, 2 Incident, 448, RD363. Still looking like a ripe lime. You're requesting an additional unit, 2155 and a half, West 28th Street to standby. 7th. Can you show them a follow-up route to Northeast Station? Thank you. Have anyone watched? Incident 4092, filter to ring here 5016, correction 516, South Alameda at the business, incident 271. Another code to ring here 910 North Hill yeah, the at bars, the business, incident the bars just closed. Oh, 140, Roger. And that's going to be on that depth investigation that FD's requesting. 140, Roger. 215, West 14. 181, we're good. 166, USCMC. We're good to the airport, 6 south of Olympic, on temporary boy Lincoln, 7 6, Mary Green. First and fourth. Honda and we'll take. Adam Corolla? The yeah, Adam Corolla used to be yeah, funny. He used to be funny. But now he's just like a bitter old man, dude. Dude, whenever I live like you know he when he had the podcast at first, it was kind of funny. But now it's bro, he's like the get off my lawn guy, bro. It's it's not even comedy anymore. I don't even know what he's doing. He's just like a rambling old man, dude. Germany 3, semi 3, 8, 15, 3, 50, route. Any air unit come in on Southwest Frequency. Crunch on Obama, First Street, takeover. Any Southwest. Any Southwest unit. Racing vehicles, Jefferson and Buckingham. Put two incident four five five or eight three three two. I got a long eye on that. Do they want to make any traffic in force so I gotta use a car doing zone at the intersection now? Zero one thousand miles to six GOA. The scene is over, has visual of a car doing donuts in the intersection. No radiant route. That's in South LA, too far. Right. Yeah. Yeah, the fire emergency. They want to make any enforcement action. And you still have to remain at the. Alright, we'll do one more lap here on Hollywood and then uh, we'll head back to that standoff. And, uh, I don't know. Do you guys want to keep it going? So, you're going to do this. This is going to actually take out an aircraft. You guys are going to make any enforcement action or do you just try to get this person off? You guys want to keep it going? I need an infusion of, an infusion of support and energy, dude. Yeah. I need a that a boy. Keep it going, pal. West 93rd Street Apartment 3, subject to block, 33 years old. We're right here with Chappelle. 90 attempted assault PR. Go 2746 on R80. Appreciate the stream, mate. For an ambulance, DB215 West 14th Street. Yeah, give me some words of encouragement, dude. What's your go to? What's your go to words of encouragement? 
What's your go-to phrase? Everybody's got a phrase, dude. I don't think I have one, dude, because I'm so negative. Five four three two Santa Monica. So two instead of four fifteen or D six seventy eight. Five four three two Santa Monica. Battery. Come here, you got to come in on zero frequency. You got a battery, but it ain't an energizer. Five four three two. Look, Beetlejuice. Yeah. Lady Beetlejuice. 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 I thought it was a costume, dude. It's not a costume. Alright, we're two miles out from this battery. closer to this church. A door on the uh, east side, I'm pressing west side of the apartment, and it goes to a hallway. That hair, hallway leads down the stairs and it exits. There should be a garage to the west of the main building. I missed the words well. of encouragement. Uh, at that door, so Get her done. Door, like the... You're worthy. <laughs> You're worthy, and God damn it, people like you. I'm proud of you. Keep it up. If you stop streaming, I will die. Just you? I don't know. I have to reconsider. Oh, dude, I missed all these words of encouragement. Stopping is for quitters. You're better than that. You're right. I'm doing an awesome job. Thank you, Crystal. You got this. Thanks, psychedelic angel. Pass the shrooms, bro. Anything more? Yeah, you got this, airport got airport. this, got this. We're doing great. I'm thankful for you. Toto's Hardcore Media. I also do some writing when I listen to you. You're doing great, bro. That's nice of you guys. That's nice of you guys to respond to my fishing for compliments. Back, right, I think that's all we got right here. All right, you talked me into it, dude. I'm re-energized. of encouragement are like, hey, hang in there, man. I'm bad at, like, when there's serious stuff going on and, like, talking to people. Like, if they're going through something, I'm, I'm horrible at that, dude. That's usually what I say, like, hey, hang in there. Things will get better. Oh, here comes a SWAT right here. Whoa! Are they going right here to this jerky? Are they going to Hollywood and Highland? Are they going to Hollywood and Highland? Are they going to Hollywood and Highland? 
No, 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 no. Where the hell are they going, dude? They can't be going that fast to the scene. To the standoff? 03 incident 463 RT 774. Going to Hollywood and Highland? You know, we're, gonna, we're gonna go skip this battery call. We have both vehicles right here. All suspects are gonna be paid VOA. Uh, both these vehicles appear to have been stolen. 11 negative. We're gonna go follow this car. Hopefully, it's we're on a highland. So. They said they were follow, following up on something on Hollywood and Highland. Forget this battery call. It's not that close either. It's over by the 101. Look at this guy. That's the left hand turn lane, pal. You know, if we're going left. Henry Paul, X3, Dude, he was going so fast that like there's gotta be an emergency. Henry Paul, X3, 1694, Henry Paul, X3, 1694, Henry Paul, X3, 1694, Henry Paul, X3, 1694, Hello, man. You're telling me that I have no harbor units absolutely available for a transport? They weren't going to the standoff. 5980, Not going at that speed. They've been there for hours, bro. Like, unless something popped off. Like they shot at them or something. The standoff's right here. Maybe they were. You want to show the floor information only? Yeah, it's up on the Pacific Charles 89 and Grand information only. Yeah, they were going like. Then until PD arrives, call 10 to the 480 80 miles an hour. The standoffs in this neighborhood are on the right. Lamont Avenue. Vehicles a white long bed pickup truck with a light bar on top. Tool 9, you can be advised. I'll watch 5 units. They're going to be held over. Rampart Watch 5 units are going to be held over. Rampart Watch 5, you're being held over. 11X49, Roger. Let's go check real quick. Julie Bobrick, 27021, Burns Court, Unit 1405, Canyon Country. We're going to take a peek and see if. Uh, and for 9 George Edward Adams. The cops look like zero. something happened. Return is no want, no warrant for 2023. Honda Utility, Carlosville Initial. Man, the cops got to be tired, man. And they got the whole neighborhood shut down. Doesn't look like the cops are startled at all. Something happened. So there's been a standoff here on Cherokee for hours. It's probably going on like four, four plus hours. This guy's in his apartment over here on Cherokee. Supposedly he tried to uh, light some newspaper on fire. SWAT has arrived. Get out here and see what the angle is from this side. Two 
see if we have a decent angle here when the spot goes in. I guess not that far up. They're just at the next, next light right there. No one. Oh, dude, there's a park right here? Bro. If I can go through the park, I can probably. Dude, I might be able to see through here. If we know what apartment he's in, we may. It's closed, right? What about the park? Can I just go for a jog in the park? He's Making threats? Thank you. Mm. Alright, we might have a... Shot on him. I didn't know, man. Closed earlier, though. Let's see. Over here. Dude, we might get a good shot from here. Let's see. Where's this? Dude, if I could get in the park, we could be like right across the street. I believe he's in the first apartment complex right there. It's one large complex there. go in the car I'll check citizen and see if somebody has a video of what unit he's in well, I don't think we really have a good view here Good view here, bro. Let's see. Go swap. You guys want to check it out? If that's the building right there with the stairs, we see some swap members over there. I'm not sure if that's where he's at, though. I thought he was on the next one to the right. I can pull out my tripod. Oh, here comes a swap coming in. Here comes the bear cat. All right, fuck it, dude. We're gonna have to set up. Here's coming in. Look. Oh, it's actually just rolled by. Do a U-turn or what? Oh, look, there's a guy on top of the stairs up there. You see that in the hallway? Is that a cop? All right, let me go get my thing because we're way too far. You guys are probably just seeing some grainy ass dark pictures. We're going to fix that right now. able to zoom and get a tripod be nice nice and steady call me steady Eddie 
That's got to be a cop there on top of the stairs. Why? Damage in the fair way. Go 3 into the 499 or 721. 339 Northwestern Avenue. Information incident 292. Last I heard is that they uh, they still had some people. They evacuated some people from the apartment building, but some of the uh, tenants were still in the rooms. So I don't know if they're going to wait to clear everybody out. Traffic unit 10 4 897 497. Ambulance hit and run felony. 653 South Soto, 653 South Soto, 1983. 1983. Soto, 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 On 8 Paul Zebra Adam 64. 7095 traffic stop to Cypress, East of Pepper. They are finding the this 8 Paul Zebra Adam 634. License. 
we do have some officers here on the back side of the building. Too high? I'll turn it down a little bit. How about that? The SWAT didn't, they barely got here not too long ago. I think. That's what Michaela said. That the, they just rolled up, what, like 30 minutes ago. Oh, they're starting to get it. Hey, when these guys get charged, do they have to pay for any of this? Do they have to pay restitution? Probably no way. They probably never pay it back in their lifetime, dude. Hey, sir, we're going to dock your check for 85% for the next 45 years.
squat to hurry up and pull up so we know exactly what unit is. company. Oh man, it's hard to see through these bars. I'm doing my best here. That's the address right there. Let's see if we can get closer to the bars. Mess up our shot. This building right there, the one with the little green uh, thing over the entrance, that little canopy thing. That is the address where this incident is. 1349 Cherokee. Oh, here we go. Well, I'm not sure how big the building is, if it goes all the way to the corner or if it's just that piece right there. Big SWAT truck, won't you back that ass up? If you're a big SWAT truck, won't you back that ass up? Stop shaking the camera. I'm going to leave it here for a second.
think it's a murder suspect. I seem to have ended up in a barricade inside of this apartment. It escalated when he tried to set a bunch of newspaper on fire. So they thought he was setting. That's why I came over and rushed over here. Was, uh, they said that he was set the. They actually said he lit the apartment on fire. So that's why I rushed over here, dude. I'm like, damn, dude, this guy's gonna burn the whole shit down. Oops, sorry. He's gonna burn, burn the whole place down with himself in it. And then on the way over here, we heard them saying like he was gonna probably have to jump out of the window. And they were planning what route he was gonna take. So I thought like, damn, dude, the thing's probably on fire. And when the flame, when the heat gets to him, he's gonna, he's gonna be forced to jump out. Stick around for a little bit. Now that SWAT guy here. I don't I don't think I got like an hour in me. I got like 20 minutes in me here. Sometimes it doesn't it doesn't go very fast even after SWAT's here, dude. Could be more a couple more hours. If any of you guys know what started this all, let me know. Put it in the chat if you know what uh, led to the confrontation between him and the police. that unit right there dude if it's that unit I'm gonna have a nice shot one next to the plant no, I don't think those stairs lead there dude those stairs are on the back side better this is the best view we've had all night i went to three different this is a third different location back there we we're taped off towards um, the sunset we were taped off you can barely see the apartments 
This is by far the best view we've had all night. The apartment is on the back side. Can the helicopter leave? Yeah, I think there's someone on Citizen over here to the left. But that street's closed off. They probably live there. That's where they're able to get out there. Oh, here we got some movement. I'm gonna leave you guys here. I'm gonna see if there's like a way to walk through this park over here. I'll be right back. Ah, uh, the birds are chirping. There's a call of uh, shots fired on Mulholland and Woodrow Wilson at the Overlook. Possible you could come down here? No, that's got to be separate. It looks like they're going up some stairs, so it must be something like this. This little staircase on the back side. Oh, pulling out the big guns. Oh, they're going to smoke them out.
believe they're going to put the gas canisters on that thing, send it through the window. Here's Johnny. Enjoy the tear gas. Dude, every time I've seen them tear gas someone, like in a car, they set like world record times. As soon as that gas thing goes inside of a car, they're out within like point eight seconds. Only that one time. Is that the battering ram? Maybe it wasn't the telescoping thing. One time when this dude was in a white truck in Compton in a standoff, that dude withstood the fucking tear gas and he threw a couple of them back. He was able to handle it. Until he finally couldn't and even when he finally gave up, he like was in there for like 10 seconds. It was like the world record holder of being able to withstand tear gas. There was some dude in Beverly Hills. Is it Beverly Hills? Yeah, it was like an end of a chase over by Beverly Hills. And you know, he was talking all this shit to the cops. He was just laying back in his car seat, reclined. I think he was putting like his, I don't know, his feet out the window for a while. He was chilling, like he was really comfy. And then um, they finally went in and they broke the glass and they put the tear gas in there. And that dude flew out of there, bro. That stuff is so overwhelming, so strong. They're coming back out. I mean, I've got like just the residue of some tear gas one time in, in Venice. I was like two blocks away. And they tear gas. It was a guy, it was on the news. It was some dude that like, I think he had a sword. And he walked in some lady's apartment right off of Abikini. But he didn't like attack or anything. No, no. He, he broke in and he took a shower. He was just like chilling, like he checked into an Airbnb, but he had a sword with him. 
and put it on the table. I forgot, it was some weapons. I think it might have been a sword and like, what are those things that the Ninja Turtles use? A Psy? Those things. And when the lady came home, she was like, what? is my door open? And she looked and she saw all those weapons and realized someone was in there. So it was like a swap situation. Dude was out of his mind. He took a shower. I think they took him out in a towel. And they tear, well, he came out after the tear gas. And dude, I was two blocks away and that shit fucked me up, dude. It was just a tiny bit. I can't even imagine being overwhelmed, dude, filling up your lungs with that stuff. helicopter 200 to 400 an hour to fly not out here there's no way dude I, last time I heard it was like a thousand dollars per hour dude the pilot probably makes a hundred something bucks an hour I was in Venice, that one other guy walked in there with a sword, whatever weapons he had. Probably like a little bit, I don't know, I can't even tell time anymore, like a year and a half or something. Right 
It's between a thousand and thirteen hundred per hour. That sounds about right. Not including the pilot's pay. That's expensive, bro. The fuel cost, helicopter fuel cost. It's got to be hundreds of dollars just in fuel. It cost me hundreds of dollars an hour to drive around. I don't know how much it costs. To do. I don't want to do the math. the way at the park this is the address so it looks like it's a unit behind here 1349 Cherokee they went back there I don't know what they did maybe they're knocking on the door try to get them to talk I don't think he's still in there Helicopter still flying for 1300 bucks an hour. Usually, when it's code four, the helicopter leaves right away. And because of this dude, uh, they didn't respond in time to that stabbing on uh, Hollywood and Gower. Some young guys got in, got stabbed. And it's, dude, I beat them there. It took them forever. His resources were tied up over here. I'll be right back. I gotta get my charger. We're getting battery is draining. I'll be right back.
that the dogs canine The dogs, I don't see them. Dude, I think we got about five minutes left here. Swap made a pass. He's not coming out. They're gonna go back. Like I said, when Swat gets here, dude, it's still hours. It still could be hours. We're just figuring out what plan of attack they're gonna use. If the dude's in his own apartment, man, he's chilling, bro. He's probably watching I Love Lucy reruns right now. What would you guys watch if it's your last thing you could watch before you go to prison? What are you guys watching? You're going to prison. You know it. You're locked up. You fucked up. You got caught. Up, you got caught up in a lover's quarrel. You lost your cool, dude. It happens. Crime of passion. Now you're barricaded in your house, dude. What are you guys watching? Shawshank Redemption. <laughs> you're getting the you're gonna binge watch the prison break series? Alright, Michael, what would Michael Schofield do here? Golden girls and living single, yeah. You'll be living single, dude. <laughs> if you go to prison, you better hope you stay single. <laughs> A Joe Rogan podcast. And news, don't tell people, don't tell them, dude. They watch. Hey, porn is actually a good option, dude. That's actually not a bad idea, bro. You're not gonna have any pornography for a long time, dude. 
no access, dude. No pulling up, coming home, start, turn the computer on, going straight to your bookmark Pornhub videos. The only adult material you're gonna get there is gonna be like printed, dude. It's gonna be newspaper. Oh, I think we got the doggies. Can I see the dogs? Walking the dogs in. I mentioned AXN News on a channeler's comments about the West LA creepy compound. I'm a little confused about that. I mean the VA? Oh, you live here? Is this your apartment building? I feel sorry for you. There were some people down the street by the 7-Eleven too. They looked, they looked like they just got off from work. They were exhausted. Who knows? They might not even live here. They, their cars might just be parked on the street. Which fucking sucks. Bro, these things could go half a day plus. I don't even know what they think he's up to. Well, Michaela said they expanded the tape all the way past the sunset, I think. Past the 7 Eleven. All the way to sunset. LAPD leaving. that plant I thought when I first got here before I had the zoom oh. some slamming over here I thought that was a person dude for sure I thought it was a cop SWAT gear Shout out to LAPD and their incredible bladder control. Dude, they have to have Gatorade bottles in the back seat they pee in, dude. I don't know how they do it. They probably don't drink any water through their whole shift. I couldn't do it.
That's my door you're pointing the camera at? Which one? That's not your door. Turn on the lights and turn them off. There you go. Fli flick the lights if that's your door. Actually, don't. You don't want to verify to a bunch of uh, internet strangers that you live there. Trust me, it's for your own protection. There's a lot of people out there with a lot of time on their hands. What city is this? This is a Hollywood off of Cherokee and what's the cross street? DeLong Prix? I'll be back. I gotta get another charger for my iPhone now. No, my phone died. The charger I have right now is just for one. <sighs> one device. We're using 2021 technology, dude. Obsolete. Is someone live on Citizen still? I think I see him. They're over here somewhere. That looks about the angle I've seen on Citizen too. They probably, they they have to live there, so they're just outside of their house because it's been closed off all night. I'll be back.
the update is uh, they're still at a standoff here. Our guy's uh, inside of his apartment. Or he uh, earlier tried to light some newspapers on fire inside of his apartment. And that's all we know. Some people said that uh, it started with the person making some threats. That's why he had his uh, confrontation with the police, and somehow he could. I don't know if he was doing it at home, if he did it on the street, if they followed him here. But he ended up in his apartment, barricaded, talking a little shit, set some stuff on fire inside of the apartment. And they thought he was trying to burn down the place. And this has been going on for like five, six hours now. And we're about to leave. Swat's here. Swat went around. I guess they tried to probably make contact with him in the back. How many likes did we get up to? We're gonna get up to a thousand likes so we can go out tomorrow. So to a thousand likes, we'll go out tomorrow. We'll hand out some cheeseburgers down. Oh, oh, what's that? What's that? Shots fired, shots fired. Shots fired. I'm probably trying to make a hole in the in the window so I can throw the tear gas through. And by trying, I mean they did. around here if the screen goes blank for a second Ooh, be tight sit tight if it goes blank for a second I'll be back that's when I move around sometimes the cables move around I'm gonna try to get a better angle here looks like they're shooting over here on this side to the right Which, uh, which house is it? Is it the one? Uh, it's 
It's in it's this, yeah, it's in that whole thing. It's the address. Somewhere around back. You didn't see nothing though? You didn't see no flashes or anything? I probably went from around back. Go around back real quick. This way. arrived. There's been an ambulance here this whole time. I got the chair waiting for him there. Is it possible to get closer? Is the tape up there? Um, Can I just go like right there? No, you're gonna have to stay over here. How about on that side? Can I stay on this side behind you over there? That's a yes. I'm gonna put up tape right now. Huh? I'm gonna put up tape right now. All right, don't put it up. Let me just see some. All right, I'll stay behind you guys over here. How about that? There's more trucks. We're gonna make them put up tape. Don't do it. I just wanna get a better angle here. The only angle. We got something right here. Yeah, well, the guy was threatening to burn. He tried to set some stuff on fire, so I think that's why they have so many fire trucks, just in case he tries to light the whole thing on fire.
Well, this guy was burning shit. That's when I came over here. So I thought the apartment was on fire initially. That was like five hours ago. They said he he lit the place on fire with him inside. That's why I rushed over here. But once we got here, we found out it was just he lit some newspapers up. Helicopter's gone. I was about to say, why did it get so eerily quiet? Helicopter's gone. They already got him. What do you think they shot a flashbang? I didn't hear the I didn't hear a glass shatter. <clears throat> you would think um, they'd have to break the glass <clears throat> and then send the tear gas in. Any other thing, he would have to be outside for it to affect him. And I don't think that guy came outside. Is anybody still watching that lives in the neighborhood? Anyone still in the neighborhood? Vintage, are you here? What updates can you give us? Are you uh, in your apartment still? Are you in the same room? Are you underneath a cover in your bedroom down the street? <clears throat> Did you see anyone in custody? Did you see what was fired? Do you see any fire, smoke? Hey, I'm good. You? You live in the neighborhood? I uh, know. Oh. So I'm just here recording it. You? I live in the building. Oh. The building where it's happening. That guy? You know him? 
He lives there, or he's just... He lives on the chair, on the Delancre side, uh -huh. over there, and then I live on the interior, one of the interior units. Okay, yeah, because I've seen the SWAT one from around the back. Yeah, oh really? They just took a couple of shots, did you hear? What do you think they were uh -huh. from, uh, tear gas in there? I here? think they probably try to, like, uh, shatter the window so they can oh, put the tear gas canister. Yeah. You said you do live in the neighborhood? I'm going to see that. Me? Yeah. Oh, no. Oh. I just cover all this stuff in L.A. Oh, shit. Who, um, do you have a social media? It's called AXN News L.A. AXN. Yeah. Interesting. Like Action News uh -huh. L.A. Wow. Interesting. Yeah, I just go around and cover stuff. We so, came here, I went to like five other things, and okay. then we came back and it was still going on. So then you kind of know uh, all the details? Or what? It's the one guy in there that they said he was drugged out and uh, he tried to start a fire yeah, earlier that's what i heard i don't know exactly what made the cops come out but someone was did you hear anything i it was maybe um so maybe he was making uh, threats someone said he was, was making threats yeah he was probably acting up but maybe. he didn't want to get taken he didn't want to mm -hmm. i guess the cops came to deal with him and he got, went into his house and i don't know I'm not sure, to be honest. This is your partner here? It's barricaded, yeah. Production yeah. partner here? Yeah. <laughs> I live in the building. Oh. <laughs> Wait. Wow. Heads up. That's a parking enforcement. They're like, I don't know if you need a oh, sticker to park on that street, but they're checking cars right now. Her right there? Yeah. Oh, shit. The Walking? The guy with the flashlight. Where'd you park? It's a parking enforcement. Seriously? Just, um, oh, shit. Can you watch this real quick? It's yeah. a parking district. Yes. Motherfuckers. Yeah. Is he on the right side? Yeah. Is that, is that matter? Um, it doesn't matter, but if he started on that side, then he just like, maybe he didn't do the right side yet. Yeah, okay. Because he'll check yeah, everybody. Yeah, he just parked right now. He'll check everyone for like the permit. Yeah, this is Michaela. I think I just saved AA from getting a parking ticket. The parking enforcement's checking all the cars down here for permit or stickers. Yeah, my car got blocked in when they expanded the crime scene, so I kind of lucked out on that, I guess. <laughs>
Oh, I do in my car, but I'm not cold right now. No, that lady's freezing. Oh, no? It's fine. Yeah. I had to park way down the way. Oh, okay. Please roll up here. I think your camcorder battery's almost up. Oh, oh my God. Oh, Damn thank it. you. That's for, for you. Oh, thank for you. For saving my parking ticket. <laughs> See if it works. I buy it from the 99 cent store, oh. but <laughs> I don't know. It seems yeah. like it would work for your phone. God damn it, dude. I was dude. wondering what that guy was doing when he saw him walking up checking cars and I what, saw parking it was parking towards yeah. And I, know, I was actually about to say, I was like, dang, I should have parked my car over He's here. like a fucking ninja in the Good thing I didn't, though. I know. Oh, your car's over there. Yeah, it's, it's blocked I it was in, right so I'm, I'm stuck here anyways. <laughs> That's the advantage of letting yourself get blocked in. <laughs> Damn. Over here, too. Thank you. Hmm? You want to you wanna ride to your car? I think I'm going to take off pretty soon. Oh, no. Or you want to walk around? Oh no, because I'm blocked in, so... Okay. Yeah, I think I'm pretty much done. It's 4 o'clock, right? Yeah. Damn, my battery's gonna it was die. It a good angle, though, when all the Bearcats came in on Cherokee. Over there? Because they yeah. all came in on, on Cherokee. Uh, yeah, I think we're gonna... Let me unplug this real All right, guys, we're gonna take off. My camcord battery is dead, so maybe after this parking guy leaves, we'll come back. I'm gonna come back. When I drive by, I'll bring you a sweater. The red car. I'll pull up, bro. All right, you're gonna be here. I'm gonna go get my car. I'm gonna give her a sweater. For that lady, if you want to ride, just let me know when I come back. Okay. You want to get a shout out quick? Hey. <laughs> Michaela. Yep. What are you doing out here? Uh, just checking it out. <laughs> Filming for your YouTube channel? 
Uh, I don't have one yet. Thought you I, don't? I thought I you just, had I have, a... I have one for monster trucks. It's just monster truck, Michaela. Uh-huh. But I was thinking yeah. about making one for this stuff, too, but I was trying to get the hang of it first, though. So. Okay. Because I live pretty close to all the action, so I was like, it all kind of unfolds around me, so... All right, monster truck, Michaela. Yeah, and then I use, like, little Miss Michaela. Yeah, that's so, what I know you as in the chat. I, I have the pink bow, so just look for the pink, the pink bow. Oh, in the... <laughs> okay. In, in your avatar thing? What yeah. do they call it? The little picture? Profile picture? It's just a little... Oh, it's just in the emojis around my name, so... Are you going to stay here? Why don't you just stay here with the stream? Talk to the stream. <laughs> I'll leave the camera behind. My camera's dead, but the phone is on. How about that? You're going to stay here, right? Yeah. I'll go get my car, give her a sweater, and then I'll take off. If you want to ride back to your Jeep. Oh no, because I'm, I'm blocked in. You want me to just put it back over there? Where are you uh, gonna where, you, where are you gonna post? Yeah. Here? I can't see anything over there anyways. Alright, if Michaela steals my camera, you guys seen her face. <laughs> Right? You'll be wanted with the internet's best sleuths.
Can you hold it down? Uh, kind of, yeah. Can you talk to him? A little bit. Oh, you're watching. Told, just told him my car was blocked in. Oh, okay. it's Thanks so, for saving me for that oh, ticket. No problem. It, so does the iPhone have, like, really good, like, uh, far, because it was, you're getting, like, really good footage from far away. I, I have to, you have to connect the, uh, oh, the okay. camera. Uh-oh, battery is low. Oh, I gotta plug this in. You oh. need a power bank, or? No, 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 I got it. I got a power bank. Let's see. So I got two more on me. No, no, I got it. I think I'm done. You want to ride back to your car? Oh, no, I'm, I'm blocked You're going to stay here? Yeah. You sure? Yeah. You're going to ride it out right here? Yeah. <laughs> Okay. You think I didn't move my car? I guess I could have parked in that 7-Eleven. I bet if you go, you could. They might let you go and get it if it's like one of the first cars. Yeah. Up to you. Up to you. Because I don't know how long what, this is going to take. What kind of Canon camera is that? Uh, I'll tell you after. It's an industry oh, okay. secret. Oh, yeah. Uh, I don't know. It's up to you. I think I'm gonna take off at 3418. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> I gotta charge everything. My battery's dead. My cell phone's about to die too right now. Even though it's charging, it's down to 4%. Let's see. Hey, if the stream dies, guys, it dies. If it dies, it dies. Hold on. It should be charging. Why is it not charging? Let's see. There it goes. We saved it at three per ten. All right, so I'll see you then. If you don't want to ride, are you sure you don't want to ride? Oh yeah, I'm good. Thank you though. Yeah, good seeing you Until again. Till next time. I, yeah, thanks for helping her out too. Well, I'm loving this kind of weather though. I was like, this is like perfect. Yeah, it's pretty cool, but she's got like no socks on. Yeah. She's been sitting there for five hours, unexpectedly. So uh. Monster truck with Michaela. Yeah. What do you do? Uh, monster truck stuff only? Yeah, and just some motorsport stuff. Like, uh, still gotta post some footage, but yeah. Like, I was just at a monster truck event. It was a small show in Victorville, and then uh -huh. I was on my way back here. Oh, you went there to record? Yeah. It was just a small show, though, so it wasn't anything anything big, but figured I'd check it out, so. All right. And I what saw about uh, going on and... Irwindale? You ever go there? No, actually, I haven't been there. I went there and they had the um, the derby where they have the RVs where they wreck oh, them and yeah. stuff. I've seen that when I they used do to like live... a figure eight. Yeah. When I used to live in uh, Illinois at Rockford Speedway, they would do uh, trailer races where they pull the RVs and do the figure eight. Uh -huh. They did the figure eight school bus racing, and then they did like they did one where they pulled boats. Just oh on yeah, they their had asphalt. boats too. Yeah. They, they had like a boat on trailer and RVs. But I thought it was gonna be like total like destruction, but they were missing each other. Only like a few, yeah. a few of them got hit. The first I was... event I went to with the school bus racing, they hit like T-boned. Oh. There's always that one driver that just doesn't want to slow down for the intersection. Yeah. Just went right through it. I thought the whole point was that they're supposed to wreck. You know? I think it's when they do the figure eight, it's supposed to be a race, and then. Oh, yeah. okay. So it's more like a race because I was like, dude, why aren't they crashing? There are, they're there they're some, avoiding each there other. There are some people that just try to. <laughs> I right. thought it was just so they could wreck. All right, cool. I'll see you. Be safe. Yeah. You sure? Last chance to get a ride. Oh, yeah. Thank you. All no, right. you're, I'm good. Thank you. And thanks for that phone mount. So. Yeah, try it All out. Right. See if it works. It's a cheapy one, but if it works, let me know. Yeah. I haven't used it. All right, Michaela. I'll right, see later. you. <laughs> All right, I'll see you, huh? Nah, keep it. No, That's all no. you. The blank yeah. sweater's good. Blanket, you got it. It's yours. How are we gonna do this here? I wish I had socks free. save the stream here so I can say goodbye.
Fire department is leaving. <clears throat> we are leaving. See you later, Michaela. Thanks for saving me from a ticket. I guess no one got a ticket. Would have gotten a ticket and read the sign. There's no parking after no parking after 6 p.m. So no public parking 6 p.m. to 8 a.m. And I actually talked to the guy. He was actually pretty cool. Which is a first. All right, maybe a second. That a parking meter guy is cool. Oh. Oh, let me go back real quick before we go. Because the fire department's leaving. Um, what was I saying? Oh yeah, he was cool. He said that they cover so much area. They, I was like, damn, you guys do this every night? First I made a joke. I was like, you thought you had me, bro. And then he's like, nah. He's like, they called me out here. And he said, I was like, yeah. Oh, they have to call you? He said, yeah, that they, uh, they cover such a large area. He's like, someone has to call. So someone called him out, probably one of the neighbors seen us parking here. As always, the Karens. Karens, they care a little bit too much. Imagine calling because people are parking there without a permit. Dude. Imagine what kind of person that is, dude. Imagine if that person is married. Or he or she. What kind of a joy she has to be around. Or he. Our rules. Uh, I think we're going to take off here. Let's Reversed and turned around, got in a better position, I guess, to go on. 12 8 5 3 12 8 53 Roger, your cell phone for 12 8 Like that lady I gave the sweater to? 
She was been there for a minute, dude. She has a cat in a little carrier. I thought it was a dog. And I think she was. She might have, I thought I seen her with that pet carrier uh, when I first got here the first time, dude. Like, dude it's gotta be going. <laughs> Fuck, eight hours ago or something. And she's wearing like no socks, you know, just like, what do they call it, open toe kind of shoes. They're not open toe, but like, no, I think they were open toe. Okay, there's a call at the same location. It's now becoming an ambulance traffic. She was like shivering, bro. Enough to where, like, you know, most people, when you offer them something, they're like, no, no. Right away, they'll tell you, like, no, no, I'm good, thank you. When I told her, like, you need a sweater, like, I could tell she was like, oh, yeah, fuck yeah, I need a sweater. It's pretty cold out here, bro, and after, after a couple hours, bro, it just starts getting to you. I should go check if you're, let me go check if uh, Michaela's truck is open. She was behind the tape, but she said they moved the tape. And now her truck is behind the tape. Her monster truck, it's, it's a repl replica, replica of a grave digger. a half size replica truck just kidding it's a uh, PT cruiser made to look like the grave digger it's lifted Are still here too. Yeah, these are. Well, they have access to 7 Eleven. Fuck, I gave a sweater. These people have been here too. I don't think I have any more sweaters to give. I don't even have a sweater. Yeah, it's still taped off here, Michaela. Double taped. Three tapes. I think if you come back here, you might be able to work your way in and ask them to leave. Usually, if you're way out on the perimeter, your cars they'll they'll let you leave. You just have to wait around a little bit, and they'll send somebody. See this fire trucks coming out. Or we could do is just go in there, turn on your truck, and start driving towards the tape. And then they'll be like, hey, where are you going? And you're like, well, I'm leaving. I'm like, all right, wait, let me lift the tape. As long as you're going the opposite way and you don't rip the tape, you're good. By this time, dude, it's like the scene is secure. The guy's in there. There's no danger. You just have to respect respect the boundaries of the tape. Tape is lava. Let's get out of the way of this reversing truck here. Let's see if these people 
I got some shirts, maybe they can double later. Oiga, ¿tienen frío? ¿Necesitan ropa? ¿Al frío? Tengo camisas. Dude, that you seen? Did he go into a frame? The guy with the long hair. He's the only. He's the only guy that took a shirt. He was cold. Dude, he's. He just had like a tiny, tiny uh, t-shirt. Right now it's cold. Dude, it's pretty cold right now. To just be outside for hours at a time. Let's see how cold it is. 61 degrees. Well, if you're from other parts of the country, you're gonna be like, You call that cold? You call that cold? But for us, it's cold. Also, people don't 
dress for cold weather here, Bella. We don't wear layers. People usually maybe have like one hoodie or a light jacket or something. I think they'll let you get your car when you come around. There's no biggie, just go. Uh, just go past the tape and go to your car. If you're going to your car, say, hey, I thought I could go to my car, I'm leaving. In this situation, it's no big deal. I don't even think there's any cops really close to there. There might be one. I think they're all down the block. Trust me. But that's the one thing you gotta learn about these scenes. Is it's nice to show up and get go right up and pop out, but you see, every time I go somewhere, I'm always thinking, like, where am I going to park? Where am I going to park? There's one I don't want to park blocking the cops or blocking the fire trucks. Some of these dudes you see pull up, and they're, like, blocking the fucking fire hydrants or blocking the trucks, bro. And two, I don't want to get stuck. And that's happened a few nights. Luckily, one time I was stuck in a, in a murder. It was a murder scene, a shooting. And I was taping, you know, there was a tape, and then I showed up, I was videotaping, and then, like, I forgot, I went somewhere, and then they moved the tape behind my car. And then they closed off the street behind me. You know, the street I came in, they closed it off after. Kind of like this. And then, uh, Oh no, I was getting a move, but then there was cop cars blocking me. There was like two cop cars blocking me, so I couldn't get out. And, uh, I was fucking, I want to say I was mad. I was more mad at myself, but I was, you know, just like, fuck, dude, I'm going to be here. For... And it was like at the end of the night, like when the sun was already coming up, like seven in the morning. I'm like, bro, I'm going to be... I put all my stuff away. I kept talking to the cops. They're like, sorry, sorry, we can't move it. Sorry, sorry. I was like, all right. After trying, they're like, I don't know who who's who's uh, who has the key to that car. It's not my car. And after I asked a few times, I was like, fuck, dude. I guess I'm going to just put my equipment in. I went in there, put my seat back. I was like, I'm going to just take a nap. And then some dude came up. You're the guy that needs to move? He's like, I got I got you. He was nice enough to move the police cars. Did we get to a thousand likes? Thank you guys very much. Thousand likes will be out tomorrow. Ninety-five percent chance. We'll go out tomorrow. We'll pass out some. Uh, we'll pass out some of these clothes. I'll bring more clothes, and we'll, we'll go pass out some cheeseburgers. Mickey D Sundays. We'll do it. Make it a Mickey Sunday. I'd like to see that 
that sunset spot where you went? You used to eat lunch? What's a, what's a co created stream? Dude, you know more stream terminology than me. What is a co created stream? On Sunset? I don't even know what you're talking about. You mean the taco place? Santa Monica and Vine? Taco truck? Also, when uh, if anyone watches the replays of the streams, usually by midday the next day I'll put the timestamps of the stuff we go to. So you can just click, click on the timestamps in the comments. If not, uh, and also leave leave a comment. I say please leave a comment any comment you can just put hi you can just put like you can just put a little heart maybe but there's a reason why all the youtubers goes with like comment that's like the trifecta Drive. That's the the You don't have to comment, dude. I'm just saying if you're gonna click on the channel. I notice a lot of people comment on the after stream comments thinking that it's the live stream. Not a lot, but a couple. It's not rare. That people are commenting like they think they're talking to the chat in the live stream. They don't know the difference. one time someone was like asking questions and it was like answer me like why are you ignoring me but they were doing it comment by comment and I was like oh dude I'm not going to respond to this man. this person's fucking out of it and then they got all nasty some dude would like donate like 79 cents or something or I don't know if the minimum was 99 cents he'd like donate like a dollar and seven cents and like 
bro, he would put like, he was asking like, he would put like 30 comments in a row in the chat. Like all these questions and stuff. That's back when there was very little viewers, so it's like you can't ignore it, you know? And then he would be like, well, you don't answer my questions, blah, blah, blah. I was trying to be nice. Back then, I used to fucking try to be nice to everybody, bro. And then I learned my lesson that, like, bro, even the people you try to be nice to is... For me to be nice, you have to earn my niceness over some time, dude. Because people, even some of those people over time, they fucking flip out, bro. You think they're cool people and they're nice and shit, and any little thing, and they start flipping out. Or sometimes they just, for no reason, bro. They completely flip and start talking all this shit. Telling you you're a piece of shit. Who do you think you are? Blah, blah, blah. Hope bad things happen to you. Somebody said it. But that dude was like, whatever. He he made like three donations of like a dollar or something over like two months. I let it drag on, and then like when he flipped out, he started saying like, "Dude, I gave you a dollar and seven cents, man. You're ignoring me. I donated a dollar and seven cents." And like he would spam it, and then I banned it. He would come back under another account. I'm just saying, we've, I've met a lot of fucking interesting people doing this shit. Dude. Are you close to me, Clip? Thirteen out of forty-one. I'm okay. Drink. Eight seventeen. Your business is view. I one zero two seven Wilshire Boulevard is now code two. Security guards are blocking the PRN with their personal vehicles. Two forty two involved. Yes. Now code two. Yes, it is live. Sunday. Do any of you guys go to work or? You guys on Pacific Standard Time? I think I showed you guys this last time. But this is this is the building that was around during the riots or the rooftop Koreans. This has been abandoned for a long time. But that's the building that you remember the pictures of the Koreans on the rooftops during the riots. It was this building right here. They were up on that roof. I think I showed people like a, I showed you guys like a month ago. And for some reason, it's still empty. I don't think it's been empty since the riots, but it's been empty for a long time. That is a building, dude, where all those historical pictures and rooftop Koreans. Remember that? There's this dude named Sam. You want to check out his channel? It's called Media One Goes Live. Right? We were talking to him. Uh, I was talking to him when we went to that Orange County or 
what was it? Uh, it was some story. Uh, I think it was that guy that had the gun in the parking lot in Santa Ana. He was down there, and I was talking to him after, and uh. Oh yeah, I don't think you'd get mad if I said it. It's not a big deal. For him, it's a big deal. There's nothing like... Uh... Anyways. He uh, he said he was out videotaping. Like he had a camera for the 92 riots. Like he was out there with the camera. I don't think he was a stringer or nothing. He just had a camera. He wanted to record stuff. You know? And he... He had a camcorder. It was out during the riots. And he said he had all this footage, bro, like, of the 1992 riots. Like, he was naming all kinds of crazy shit. And I was like, God damn, dude, why don't you fucking have that up? That's, like, crazy. What he was saying that he got off film, you know? And I was like, oh, shit, that stuff that probably hasn't even been seen on TV. He's like, nah. He said that his girlfriend or ex girlfriend threw the tapes away because <laughs> she was mad or I don't know maybe it was a mistake I think I remember she she was mad though and he was fucked bro I'd be devastated too man Historical footage has been saving since the 90s. Dude, this donut shop I stopped here the other day, the lady there was the fucking nicest fucking lady there. The She's this old Asian lady, bro. She was like. Dude, I can't remember the last time I've fucking seen somebody that was that nice. Like she was a 100% little sweetie pie, dude. And you could tell she wasn't faking it, dude. Like she's just the nicest lady. So go support that donut shop. You don't really get good customer service these days. One eight twenty nine. Is there an available unit that can respond to Eleventh and Hill to set up a crime scene at the Blue Moon? Blue Moon. Is it just me or do people just don't give a shit about their jobs anymore? I feel like it was already horrible, but I feel like after this uh, the pandemic, it's even worse. Like young people. Dude, I remember when I was young, bro, we would fucking, we were happy. We have jobs. We try to do a good job. I mean, not even myself. Like, everyone I worked with was, like, working these fast food jobs and everything. Like, 
Yeah, Even though there were shitty you. jobs or whatever, like, bro, nobody was, like, fucking, I don't know. There was an expectation of, like, there. doing a good job, you know? Our last, no one was rude or fucking dismissive or anything, you know? Maybe you get one out of every fucking 20 people and then eventually either just not show up to work or they get fired. But now I feel like, dude, everywhere I go, man, it's like, people are so uninterested. They don't fucking want to help you for anything. They're just sitting there with their name tag and then they get all bothered when you ask for something. need the key. Can you open this up? Oh! You know what you want? You sure you're ready? Uh, I don't know. I don't work here. Not my department. I don't do shit like that. Like, just like, oh, sorry, no. Even like, I'm on my break. I'm going on break. 31-22-35 If you have T-Mobile, they're raising service? With say, raising prices? Cashier four dollars in quarters. She counted them four times. I said it's four. Goodbye. Oh, I'm just trying to get DOT to respond to my location for uh, traffic control. Yeah. I think a lot of young people. It is that dude that they're mad that they can't be on TikTok. Yeah. They can't be online. Can you hold me there? Like some dude told me when I was young, they're like, bro, if you, if you're not good at a entry level job, if you're not good at a shitty job, you're not going to be good at anything. That shit always stuck with me. Dude. He's like, yeah, you know, you got to do a good job, even though you don't hate the job. Whatever, it's not, you know, it's nobody's dream job, dream job or whatever, but it's your job. You do it as best as you can. And you do good for yourself. So you could feel like, hey, I'm above this job. I need a promotion. You could do something else. But. gotta and set good habits dude it's not like you can fucking be a horrible employee at something and then you're it's just gonna click like oh no i got my a better job like no no one's gonna fucking hire you I'm not trying to sound like some old man, old man Corolla here, dude, but I do notice that things have gotten a lot worse. I don't know, even know 
if it's entitlement, bro. It's just like people don't give a shit. I get it. They're shitty jobs. They're not getting paid well. But if you don't do those jobs good, it's like you're only hurting yourself. Bro. For the Fulham, Fulham exit, Fulham exit, Fulham exit. Like all the jobs that I had, I always try to do the best that I could. And then most of them I ended up just fucking like leaving because I was like, oh shit, I've already done everything in this job. I'm too good for it, whatever else. There's no no room to move up here. And then uh, two of them I ended up just starting my own business.